almost any sort of screen that isn't just me just sitting at my desktop. 99.9% .9 of the time. You see, that's what I mean. I don't know if you can hear me talking from the kitchen. That, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's always, it's always something, man. It's always, I always fuck up something. I guess I can turn off the weather too. It's always something. It's not a mic problem. I just chose the wrong mic. Hold on. There we go. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now you can probably hear me properly. <clears throat> All right. Let's try this a third time. Hi. Hello. Everything's always scuffed whenever I start an in the kitchen stream and it's not just me at my desktop. And look, I fucked it up again at the start. Who would have guessed I never do that? Wow. Amazing. All right, cool. Anyways, hi, what's up? Hello. So, it is a week after last uh, weekend's absolute fucking disaster of a cooking stream. So, we're not gonna get cute today. We're not gonna get fancy. We need to redo last week's cooking stream and we need to actually finish with a finished breakfast burrito product because that was very sad last week. It was just kind of like, well, I guess we're out of charcoal, so the stream's over. Cool. Not having that happen this week. This week, we will be finishing something. We will be eating something. We will be, we'll be hopefully enjoying something. I'm pretty confident that we'll be enjoying something because I feel like this recipe is pretty hard to fuck up. That's why I chose such an easy one for last week's cooking stream. It didn't work out at all, but the good news is this week, oh look, a stove that I know works. Oh look, an oven, well, I shouldn't need the oven, but like a, a microwave that I guess I could use, but we just need a stove, that's all we need. That, that's all, that's it, that's, uh, that's the only part. Okay, cool, so. <sighs> Let's make breakfast burritos for realsies this time, using heat sources that we know will instantly work. Hmm. Now, first things first, first, before anything else, we need our uh, alcohol, obviously. Now, last week we did, uh, what was I doing? I was just doing tea and I had some, like, I poured some knob in there, but this week I figured, okay, we're, we're in our kitchen so we can get a little bit uh, more fancy with what we're drinking. Not that fancy, but slightly fancier. So I figured, what's, uh, what's, and look, yes, I'm aware, once again, before you make all the jokes, like, you're a streamer, it's not breakfast, it's after, your, it's in the afternoon, hee, 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 hee. Okay, yeah, you're, you're hilarious, cool, whatever, fine. Let's just pretend we're on the West Coast right now and it's still 10 a.m. and we're still, having delicious, delicious breakfast, okay? Just, 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 just... Okay, good. So, we're gonna start off with a pretty uh, prototypical breakfast drink, shall we? Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I think of a breakfast alcoholic drink, there's kind of two obvious ones that come to mind. Number one would be a mimosa, which, uh, champagne and like some sort of juice, right? Standard, but I don't have any champagne and I didn't wanna buy champagne, so I'd say, there's a second one that pretty obviously comes to mind, and that would be, well, shit, there's also a third one. I guess maybe the third one that would come to mind would be a, a Bloody Mary. But that one's kind of like, that can be a little bit uh, polarizing as far as whether people like that or not. But anyways, the other one that's pretty obvious to me, and the one that we'll actually be having today is a screwdriver, right? Pretty easy. Orange juice, vodka. Boom. We're going to do that because, I mean, I had vodka already. Um, you might... If you think back to last year's cooking streams, you might remember our good friend, uh, the <clears throat> American vodka that we have, right? Hell yeah, brothers. I said there's a decent enough amount left to, uh, to make some screwdrivers today, huh? Now keep in mind, uh, I can't drink too much this stream because I am driving to a friend's place after this stream is over, so we're not gonna be able to get like super sloshed or anything, but that's okay. I'm not looking to get super sloshed. I'm just looking to get a little something something and that'll be more than good enough in my book. So, we got, <laughs> nice thing about screwdrivers, they're very easy to make. It's vodka and orange juice, and that's it. And uh, normally, I'll just be full disclosure here, I'm generally speaking a pulp enjoyer when it comes to my orange juice. I'm, I'm like a nice and thick and soupy sort of orange juice sort of dude. I want that shit like when you pour it out of the, out of the cart and be like <laughs> into the glass, but I will say that specifically for screwdrivers, pulp-free is better, is this. So we're going with pulp-free. Right. But let it be known that I am actually a pulp enjoyer. Who isn't, really? Like half or 90% of people, it's weird. Anyways, Money Q coming in out with the uh, Prime sub now for 30, what was it, 33 months. Thank you, sir, thank you, sir. Your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets and Fund. Appreciate it, bud. 
Now, I did realize that uh, I probably should have made like smaller ice cubes for this screwdriver, but all I have are like the giant whiskey cubes. <laughs> so, eh, whatever, it'll work. Does it make a whole lot of sense to have like a giant whiskey cube in a glass for a screwdriver? Not really, but it's still ice, it's still frozen water, it'll still chill the bre beverage like it's supposed to, I am pretty sure. All right. Never made a screwdriver in my life before, but I looked this up beforehand and evidently it's, uh, eh, what can I use for this? That works. It's four parts orange juice and one part vodka, so four to one ratio. So let's try our best bit. I'm using one of my old beer fest, ew, beer fest glasses that looks super gross, but it's okay. Should get the job done. Juice with pulp is for uncultured quill bore people? Yeah, see, this is what I always, this is always what happens, and this is kind of why I specifically pointed out that I'm a pulp enjoyer. There's so many people that are like, ew, pulp, ew, oh my god, it has texture in it. Like, motherfucker, have you, have you ever eaten a fruit before? You do realize when you bite into a fruit, there's gonna be pulp in there, right? You bite into an orange and be like, ew, pulp, <laughs> like, huh? What? You guys are weird. I, I, I maintain that non-pulp enjoyers are weirder than pulp enjoyers. Pulp enjoyers just enjoy, like, biting into an orange. Mm -hmm. Is that so weird? Chat's like, yeah, of course it is. That's weird, streamer. Okay, whatever. All right, so oh, how much is this going to be? Maybe maybe it's one glass is like. Okay, that's already like half the glass. Okay, well, four to one, right? Uh, if I do one of two of these, I can just do half of. That's already gonna be too much. Book. Uh, well, hmm. Okay, whatever. This was just, we might just YOLO this. <laughs> I'm already losing faith in my ability to do this properly. Okay, let's fill up the there. Okay. And then, let's see. So I did like a thing and a half of this. So 1.5 divided by four. Oh, math. I'm not supposed to be doing math this early in the day. Is like one third-ish of this one. Okay. Let's go like that. That feels like it's probably about a shot anyways. Sure, all right, eyeballing. I mean, in reality, I feel like the ratios don't have to be perfect as long as there orange, there's orange juice and vodka in there, I get the feeling the exact ratio is not going to make a big difference, is it? Probably not. All right, all right, all right. Nothing but the classiest mixers at this apartment. A knife, of course, yes, yes, yes. I don't know if you're supposed to garnish screwdrivers or anything, but I'm not garnishing. I just got orange juice and vodka. I'm recalling that good enough. Okay. Cheers, chat. Cheers to uh, hopefully breakfast burritos that are actually made this time. Mm. Mm hmm. Yep. That tastes like a screwdriver. <laughs> all right. I've had that before. Yep. Yeah, all right. Works for me. Tastes like orange juice and vodka. Not a bad thing. All right. <sighs> what happened last time? Well, last week, for those that didn't tune in, we were doing this outside. We were doing this at the uh, same public park in which we'd slept in a cardboard box the previous year. And uh, we were trying our best to make all the stuff in our cast iron pots, and I was trying to make it over charcoal in like one of those little park grills. but. It was really cold and it was really windy and so the heat source was just not working. I ran, I, I literally just burned through my entire bag of charcoal and I couldn't get the, I, I couldn't cook it all. So just, it was an unmitigated disaster and I just had this like pot of just like uncooked slop that I was just like, well, fuck, I guess what do I do with this now? Spoiler alert, I went home after the stream was over, I cooked it all and, you know, using my stove and it turned out great, but it was only like half the recipe that I'd done. So we're gonna do like the actual full recipe today and try to like make what we're try, like, trying to like truly emulate. Which is, same as last week, the Cowboy Can't Ultimate Breakfast Burrito. Hail yeah, brothers. I'm going to post that in chat for those that would like to follow on with the recipe today. And uh, you guys can feel free to, uh, to follow along. Are you guys giving me shit for my shoes? I like how this happens every time I do a cooking stream in my kitchen as if like, Oh, you're wearing shoes, lol. Okay. Do I normally wear shoes inside? No, I do not. Is this some sort of like weird thing that I have where like I'm wearing shoes all the time? No, but I've noticed in the past when I do cooking streams in my kitchen, if I'm working and walking around the kitchen on my hard, like hard ass floor and like doing the whole streaming thing, whatever, my feet get really sore, or at least not sore, but they get really tired basically. So 
I just wear like running shoes so that way like my feet get some arch support and shit and my, my feet aren't killing me after the, this cooking stream is over so no I don't wear shoes indoors but for the for cooking stream specifically where I'm standing for three four hours straight whatever they make it so they're less painful like literally less painful so shut the fuck up let's see you stand for three to four hours straight on stream and cook all right uh, fuck you all right anyways let's get this started shall we we are going to be starting same with same <laughs> gonna go in the same order as last week we're gonna we're gonna start with the uh the salsa that we'll ultimately be using which is the hot green salsa now I, I, last week we had a couple of issues with the salsa in that number one i didn't have a blender to blend all the stuff once the stuff was cooked and number two my garlic ended up being like way past its expiration date so we've solved both of the problems this week and that a we're in a in an apartment where well my blender still is broken i'm probably not going to blend the stuff just like i wasn't going to last week but this time around we actually have some uh some garlic that isn't three months old bought as of yesterday okay good news Got some more jalapenos, of course. We got sit, the onion. Way. Okay. What's up? Uh, beer number is coming in out with the Prime Sub now for 11 months. Someone said Prime Sub is free. It is. As long as you have an Amazon Prime account, your Prime Sub, only to my channel, is free. That is true, actually, yeah. For every other channel, you have to pay, but not this one. That's really weird how that works. I, I don't know why. All right. So let's get started on the green salsa, shall we? So I... We kind of yoloed it last week, like I said, and it ended up being pretty good when it was literally just like jalapenos and onions and like garlic powder, and that was literally all. So, hello, scissors. I think, like I said, I might just try to emulate what we were doing last week and not try to get too fancy with it. So, get the right angle here. Hmm. 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 How the fuck do I normally angle this? I don't know. This is fine. Uh, it's been a while, actually, since I've done a uh, cooking stream in my, my actual kitchen proper. Feels like the last couple of times we've done outside, right? Which, is the, it's the middle of winter, so that doesn't make a lot of sense, yet here we are. Hmm. Alright. So, let's start by dicing up our jalapenos and onions, shall we? In fact, let's get, the, let's get the man's cutting board. A man's burrito calls for a man's cutting board. Hell yeah, brothers. There we go. And do the little trick where you wet the paper towel underneath it so it doesn't slide around everywhere. Okay. Now keep in mind, I only used like half the ingredients for this breakfast burrito last week, so I only had to buy like half of them again, so it was kind of nice. Normally I've got to go through this entire process of like figuring out like, okay, what do I buy? Where do I get it? Where I have to go for, like, how much is it going to be, blah, blah, blah. But this week was just like, okay, I know exactly what I need. I know exactly what I'm missing. So that made this week's process in preparation for the cooking stream easier. Not like you asked, but in case you were wondering, now you know. All right, and we got the knife, and we're good to go. Cool. Let's get our bowl for that stuff. By the way, like, all the stuff that I brought to last week's cooking stream, still, it all just smells like charcoal smokes, smoke still. I haven't washed my jeans since, admittedly, my jeans still smell like char charcoal smoke. This bowl still smells like charcoal smoke. Hell, even the knife has a faint scent of charcoal smoke in it, so... I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. I guess it kind of depends on if you like the smell of charcoal smoke. To me, it's like, it's alright, so... I can think of worse smells. Alright, let's get this shit show on the road, shall we? Alright, onion. Sure. <laughs> that was... That's always a factor, last week when I was doing this, it's always a factor when you're cooking outside. Something you don't realize that's going to affect you so much is like the cold. I mean, I know this sounds obvious, but when it's really cold outside, it makes doing something even like chopping up an onion much more difficult because then like your dexterity is so much lower and your ability to like precisely cut things when you're like your hands are quasi shivering. That's not fun, so. <laughs> I, I've said this before on stream, I'm a man of first world comforts. I, I openly admit that like, I'm a giant pussy when it comes to not having first world comforts. I mean, I can, I can obviously, I can do like an overnight camping sort of situation. I've done that before, but I don't handle not having stuff like heat and electricity and internet for long periods of time. I, I don't hand that, handle that very well, I will admit. I would not do well as a caveman in 2024. Is that a screwdriver? Yes, sir. Homemade even, wow. I'm something of a uh, drink-making expert, if you will. I know how to combine orange juice and vodka with the best of them. 
Wow. Cheers indeed, dude. Hey. Alright. So, yeah, last week I remember just talking about how everything that I planned to do for the recipe was taking me twice as long as it would normally be expected to, just because trying to cook outside and just like in a not kitchen environment is so, so much more inconvenience. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I know this kind of sounds obvious, but like cooking in an actual kitchen is just a thousand times easier than trying to cook in an improvised environment, that's for sure. All right, let's chop this bad boy up. Now, yes, my knife handling skills, still fucking garbage, so no need to remind me of that. I'm aware, oh, streamer, you don't know how to hold a knife properly. Ah, yeah, streamer, you don't know how to cut with a knife properly. Ah, yeah, streamer, blah, 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 your knife sucks, whatever. I know, I know, but you should know that by now. At this point, it's kind of like part of the content, right? Good news is, especially for something like salsa, I don't think expertly chopped onions will taste any different than... I don't know, amateur chopped onions like these ones are. But that being said, I mean, compared to my knife skills like a year ago, I'm still a hell of a lot better than I used to be, I'd say. I'm still not fast at it. I'm not like the bear where I'm just going like... But... I don't know, at least my onion dicing skills has come a long way. I'm no longer doing the pizza technique, which is what I did for the longest time, which admittedly was not ideal. That's half, all right. So by the way, this recipe calls for uh, one whole onion chopped up, diced up, whatever, and then four jalapenos. So we're gonna be chopping up all that shit and then tossing that into a uh, skillet and letting that go. And this is just the salsa base, keep in mind. Like this is just the start of the salsa. The actual fillings for the burrito, which I remember on Saturday because of our issues with getting a proper heat source. We didn't really actually start with cooking any of the burrito ingredients until like two hours into the stream. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that we'll probably do that a little bit sooner in the stream this time around because because <sighs> we have a real heat source. And uh, I don't expect this to take too long on stream today. Like I normally say this on cooking streams and then, oh shit, Drex coming in hot with the five gifted tier one subs out of nowhere. Oh shit, Drex too is a cooking enjoyer apparently. Thank you, sir, thank you, sir. Your five gifted subs will go directly to the Hot Pockets, Doritos, and uh, Kiss the Spider Fund. Wow. Appreciate you, bud. Are you doing SOD, or what are you doing? Is that still a thing, or... Do people still play SOD? Eh. Debatable. Just enjoy eligible bachelors? Can go, uh, can I go shirtless now? Oh my. Or you're just enjoying I get it, I get it. Uh, right now, I'm actually streaming my shirtless feed on my OnlyFans. You have to know the link already, but uh, feel free to tune in for there if you want to. Obviously, this, this shirt that I'm wearing right here on stream is just green screened on. Uh, I'm actually just naked right now. I'm fully hanging dong at the moment. <laughs> Which is going to be pretty painful when you start cooking the bacon a little bit later, huh? No. <laughs> Never a fun time to get greased, uh, grease burns on your dick, but you know what? I'm doing it for the people. I'm a man of the people. What can I say? I'm a dedicated committed streamer and gotta gotta give the people what they want, you know? You typically watch for a bit, go eat food, eat it, watch for a bit, and then I finish up and eat. Yeah, in theory, today should be faster. Um, in theory, like I said, I, I chose this recipe specifically for last week because I thought it would be quick and easy, so that way our scuffed heat source wouldn't be too much of an issue, but it didn't end up being an issue, an issue anyways, but... I figured if I make this in the, the, the reason why I didn't make this in my actual kitchen was just I figured this was too simple. I figured this was too easy and quick. So <laughs> I've, been known in, I've been known in the past to underestimate how long stuff is going to take. So we'll see. You never know for sure. But I don't suspect this one's going to take too long. There's really nothing fancy that I have to do outside of, well, I, I guess, I mean, we are deep frying the potatoes again. We're going to try to get actual deep fried crispy hash browns on like last week's just disgusting slop, potato slop that we ended up with, but I guess we'll do. Do you wash jalapenos before you actually cut them up and dice them or whatever? Is that supposed to be a thing? I definitely did not do that last week. I guess I'll do it this week, whatever. I suppose it's not like we're skinning these, so feels like it couldn't hurt. So anyways, no, no possible way that I run late today, right? I can't run late. I can only go for like four hours at max before I need to go and leave for IRL stuff. All right, 
It must be sunny there if I need this hat. I'm wearing the hat just because otherwise my hair kind of would get in the way and kind of starts getting in my eyes when I'm looking down and stuff and just gets annoying. So the hat just makes it so that I don't have to worry about the, uh, the hair flying everywhere. Hashtag medium length hair problems, I guess. I don't know. It's like you can't tie it back. It's not that long, but I can't like just have it just sit, have it sit there. It's kind of like in this in-between zone. All right, let's do our little jalapeno matchstick deal. Hair looking like 90s high school sitcom character status. I mean, I don't think it looks bad. I mean, right now it's pretty long now. I mean, I'm to the point where I definitely need to get cut soon, but uh, this is like the first time in my life I've ever had my hair at this length and never had it like in this style, so. I don't know, I think it looks good. If you don't, then well, fuck you. No one's here to judge me anyways. Besides strangers on the internet. I don't really take your, uh, my, your hair opinions, or like your at least opinions of my hair too seriously. Sorry. Streamer started learning about kitchen hygiene as using as a substitute hair net. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. No one's eating these breakfast burritos except for me, but eh, I figure still it's a decent idea to uh, just make it less annoying, if anything. I don't give a fuck if there's a hair or two in my food. It's more protein that way anyways, right? Uh, sure. All right, so we're opening these bad boys up. Got to sort of take the center out. I don't know. The center to me like doesn't necessarily have to come out fully, but I think most people remove the centers from jalapenos, right? And I, I don't even mind if the seeds are in there because the seeds what's add like the little extra kick, the little extra spice, and I'm okay with some extra spice. I don't necessarily mind. Uh, to me, I find jalapenos to be like it's, they're like white people spicy, right? They're not actually spicy, so I don't mind if these ones are. Uh, Got the spice levels a little higher than most white people would prefer. I'm only half white, right? So I can handle like twice the heat. I think that's how the math works, right? Checks out. Oi, come on. All right, trying to remove the center. I know you can't see it, but I just talked about how I don't care about removing the center and now I'm trying to remove the center on one of these. All right. The ribs and hot peppers add heat. Well, okay, the ribs, uh, okay. More what I mean, I guess, is the, the seeds that are generally speaking attached to the center, like the, the ribs are what would add a lot of the heat, right? Okay, shut up, whatever. See, like the, all the seeds that are in, yes, just, 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 okay, whatever, fuck you. I know what I'm doing, I'm a professional chef. <laughs> I've been cooking for like a year now on stream. I know exactly what I'm doing. That's another thing that still smells like charcoal smoke is my uh, my rags, my dish rags. Really probably should have washed them at some point before the stream, but I did not, so they're still very much... <laughs> got the same grime on them as I, whatever they collected last week. It's fine, dude, it's fine. Alright, so we're just going for like roughly diced. It doesn't matter too much since in theory we'll eventually just be kind of... I'm well, not blending these, like I said, but kind of mixing them up and getting them nice and soft and incorporated into just like a little like salsa slop. So we can afford to be a little sloppy with our jalapeno cutting. It's fine, dude. It's fine. All right. Mine just feels similar to last week. Huh. Imagine that. You know, actually, wait, what? I always heard cooking videos say remove the ribs too if you don't want the heat. Well, yeah, because like, I, I think well, what actually adds the heat to the jalapenos, I think, is the the seeds, right? Like, I think if you just eat the outer portion, just like the, the, like the flesh, I don't really think there's a lot, like, whole lot of heat in here. Like, let me just, here's a little bit of the, oh, flesh only. Yeah, there's still a little heat in the flesh, I guess, as well, but if anything, the seeds just add to it. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, okay, okay never mind. The skin does actually, or the flesh does have a decent amount of heat in there. All right, never mind. I guess it's not just the seeds. <laughs> All right, yeah, that, that came out a little late. <laughs> um, that's okay. It's gonna, the heat's gonna cook out, right? And ironically, I do think that's how that works. Oh, come on. Seeds and white veins? Whoa. Right. 
Also, I guess I should probably heat it, start heating up the skillet. <laughs> I don't have to stoke the fire or stoke the, stoke the coals or anything. I can just flip a switch and have it start working. Um, so let's start with doing that. Oi. Uh, using old reliable right here, the good old trusty red pan that we've used for every cooking stream since these started in the first place. Classic. <sighs> this is literally you when you cook, you're so weak. <laughs> Yeah, I'm no expert or anything, and I, whenever I cook anything, it takes probably about three times as long as it should, but that's okay. I've, uh, honestly, I've, I've come to really like cooking. Like, from, from doing these streams, I've actually really come to enjoy it. Now, it's not like I'm cooking my full-on meal every night nowadays. It's not like I'm cooking for every single, every single meal that I have, but I'll definitely, I'd say, probably, like, once a week sit down and actually spend time cooking a meal and enjoying it and... One thing I definitely enjoy doing while I cook is like having a nice little alcoholic beverage of some sort. Like not, not getting like hammered or anything every time I cook, but like eh, enjoying a few brewskis or enjoying a couple of glasses of scotch or whatever. Combine that with like the, the cooking and maybe I'm watching like a good Twitch stream or YouTube video or something as I do it. And honestly, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of like picking herbs in Felwood. It's, it's kind of therapeutic. It feels like you're just kind of in a nice little routine, nice little rhythm. Or, or sometimes I'll just listen to music while I do it too. Listening to some good music and enjoying some, some tasty drinks. Also, an, an excellent way, in my opinion, to enjoy uh, enjoy some cooking. Shit faced Saturdays? No, 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 no. I mean, I am going to a. What I'm doing later today is going to a friend's house for a surprise bachelor party. That's a thing, I guess. <laughs> apparently, because it's going to be a. Well, anyways, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a surprise bachelor party, which normally bachelor parties aren't really a surprise usually, but this time around for this specific couple, I guess it is. So, I'm sure there will be plenty of alcoholic beverages at said surprise uh, bachelor party. So, like I said, I'm not looking to get uh, hammered or anything on stream today because I got to drive to their house. I can't, like, literally can't get too drunk, but not to worry. I am going to be one of the bringers of beer to uh, this little get-together, so... Ugh. Your boy's prepared. Don't worry. He's got the 18 beers ready to go. Hell yeah, dude. Hey. Ugh. Those will be enjoyed later, however. Not on stream, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so there's the jalapenos. Cool, cool. And then uh, let's chop up the garlic. Although, do I have to, I guess I don't really have to chop it, do I? I guess I can just use Lido's fancy garlic crusher, right? I haven't actually got a chance to use that much lately. She got that, to, she <laughs> sent that to me for Christmas and I've barely used it since. Hold on, hold on. I'm assuming, uh, two garlic, yeah, it just says two garlic cloves. I'm assuming, I'll just crush it. Yeah, whatever, fuck it. Just as an excuse to be able to use it. I don't know if it's necessary or if I can just toss the entire clove into the skillet, but more fun to use the thing, right? You enjoy a blue moon once in an every now and then. What was the other one? Um, hold on, I'll show you. Keep in mind, the blue moon, this is gonna be a get together largely full of like what I would describe as like beer normies. And so I specifically asked like my friend who's hosting the party, is this a situation where I should bring more beer that's like large quantities of easily drinkable beer? So, you know, basically shit beer. Or should I, should I bring like smaller quantities of like actual good beer? And basically the response was like, hmm, ideally a combo of both, or just try to pick like fancy, easily drinkable beers, if that makes any sense. So I was like, okay, I can work with that. So Blue Moon, in my opinion, is like the perfect, Blue Moon is cheap and everybody likes it because it's not a particularly beer, super beer intense flavor, right? But it's tasty, right? Blue Moon's like the perfect, like it's slightly, it's classier than something like getting like just like Natty Light or something or Keystone. But like, even like beer normies will still enjoy Blue Moon. So I got like a big old thing of Blue Moon. And then for the slightly fancier beer crowd, I got, uh, this is a Three Floyds Robert the Bruce. It's an Indiana brewery right here. It's a Scottish style ale. I've had it a couple times before and it is quite tasty. And the six pack looks cool, so there you go. Wow. The uh, liquor store nearby me that I usually get my shit at has a terrible selection of like of, of scotches, which makes me sad. But one thing they do have a really good selection of is bourbons and uh, and beer. So whenever I need some tasty looking beer, I always go to that liquor store and they always come through. 
All right, so let's get, I guess, two cloves of garlic. Those are large cloves, so we'll call that good enough, I guess. Scottish ale, yes, sir. That's one of those types of beers that goes really well for like the winter, so I figured that'd be a good one to get for the uh, the winter. I, I, I was considering getting like a super heavy dark stout as well, like uh, a milk a milk nitro stout, what they're called. But I thought like, well, for a party specifically, if you're gonna be like, you don't wanna get like too bloated and bogged down by super heavy beer at a party, right? So I figured I'd go for something at least a little bit lighter. So like a Scottish ale, not what you call light beer, but more easily downable, I guess, if that makes sense. All right. Ay, 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 ay. Three Floyds has great stuff. Yeah, Three Floyds is just consistently tasty, right? How, how readily available is Three Floyds nowadays? I know it's an Indiana brewery, but I don't know how nationally available Three Floyds actually is. I don't think I've ever tried to specifically look for them when I'm in places that aren't Indiana, but I'm pretty sure they're like a relatively large brewery at this point, right? Ever had Canadian craft beer? We've got some good stuff up here. Uh, I don't really think I have, no. And honestly, I can't even think of like what a Canadian craft beer brand would be. <laughs> I mean, I know there's Molson, but I don't, I don't think I'd call that craft beer, so. Uh, no, I've not. But, yeah, I believe you. I'm sure, it's, I'm sure you guys got good stuff. Everyone likes beer, right? Or well, at least ever, everywhere has enough people that like beer to want to make beer. Three Floyd, is Three Floyds Chicago? Whatever, the Midwestern area, close enough. Stella's your go-to grocery store beer. Lumen is a close second. Yeah, Stella's decent as well. Stella's all right. Um, usually the step below, like Stella and and Blue Moon, if you're looking for like easily drinkable but not completely terrible beer, like Modelo's decent as well. Back in college, of course, it was like the, the typicals, like the Keystones, the Natties, the the cores if you're really feeling bougie, but I feel like nowadays, once you're in your 30s, you can you kind of you can kind of class it up a little bit. You can take your your shit easily drinkable beer and like elevate it at least a little bit up to like like you said like Stella or Blue Moon or maybe Modelo or whatever. Oh, as in they sell uh, they sell it in Chicago. Okay, yeah, I, I was gonna say like I thought I could have sworn Three Floyds was Indiana. All right, anyways, let's toss this shit on the skillet, shall we? I'm expecting this to smell quite good because it smelled really good last week. Uh, mm. I always love to hear that sizzle, dude. And whenever it's just onions on a skillet, that's really all you need. Honestly, you can just add literally nothing else and it's already going to be tasty. But add in some jalapenos here. We'll add in some salt and pepper, a little bit of oil. And oh baby, we got a stew going. All right, a little bit of oil. A little bit of fancy ass kosher salt. Oh yeah. A little bit of pepper. Okay. Ah uh, yes. Dude, what a great little hold on, I'll give you a little ASMR experience. Uh. Oh, yes. We'll add in the garlic a little bit later as we uh, have learned over the course of our cooking stream career. If you're ever cooking with garlic and onions, you always want to add like the, the garlic way after the onions because garlic cooks way faster than onions. Evidently. Hmm. The more you know. Alright, get these all nice and coated in that oil that we added here. Safe to say these will probably cook a little bit faster than last week too, compared to the like 20 minutes that it took in that <laughs> only somewhat warm cast iron pot. What a luxury to have uh, a stove that just provides heat on demand, huh? How nice. Right. Redemption arc, yes sir. Breakfast? Isn't it like 1 p.m.? There you go, everybody, take a shot. Someone said it. Someone said the thing. Mm. Okay, now, in the meantime, we can start... Here, let me put the uh, garlic over here just so I don't ultimately forget to add that in. Um, let's, uh, fireball. <laughs> I mean, I do have fireball, but I don't think we'll be adding... I don't think we'll be uh, 
consuming any today, I'm afraid. All right, in the meantime, while we let that do its thing, let's start prepping the uh, potato, huh? Because we need to make some hash browns again. <laughs> this time around, hopefully not uh, just a pile of potato mush. All right. Uh, okay, uh, potato. Ooh, a big ass potato for this, so not gonna be short on potato shavings, but in theory I'd rather have too many hash browns than not enough. Okay. And uh, we're gonna shave the skin the potato into this bag here, because I'm sure at, at some point I, I know I've told the story about how I one time when I was shaving a potato for like the first time and not really knowing what the fuck I was doing when it came to cooking in college. Just did like put all the potato shavings into my sink and just put it into the garbage disposal and just like, ah oh, yeah, that'll be fine, right? Spoiler alert, it was not fine. It clogged the entire sink and we had to call the plumber and the plumber judged us, judged, well, judged me very heavily, be like, what the fuck is all this? So, we, <laughs> we've learned our lesson. Don't uh, skin a potato directly into the sink. Just do it into a bag and just throw the bag away. That's fine. That's all you need to do. Streamer that has learned his life lessons. Okay, okay. Need another need a Garf emote? Yes, like true cooking stream OGs know that this act right here is indeed called Garfing, and I'm currently using the Garfer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Garf, 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 Garf. Never would have known, just uh, grew up peeling them into the trash. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could do that, right? But like I said, in college I was not a smart man. Still not, but was even more dumb, I guess, back in the day. Okay. Into the trash, all right. <coughs> Potato peelings are tasty if you fry them too. Yeah, I know you can, like, if anything, even for hash browns, you can keep on the skin if you really wanted to, but. Mm. All I know is that in Cannibal I Can't's recipe, you take the skin off, so shouldn't I wash it? Assuming you peeled all the skin off, like all this part underneath was not ever exposed to anything, so no, I don't think that's necessary. All right. Skin this shit just like we did last week. I remember last week doing this, that was really cold, because this potato's obviously rather moist on the inside, so. Yeah, the fingers got very cold doing this last week. It's so much more comfortable when it's in like the high 60s when you're doing this instead of in the upper 30s. Imagine that. Now, just like last week though, we're gonna have to put this separately onto a plate and just let this dry, let these dry out for a bit because you wanna get all the, according to the recipe at least, gotta get all the starch out of there and gotta get them nice and dry so they get extra crispy, if you will. Sure. All the dirt on my hand while I peeled it. Motherfucker, okay. Oh my god, a tiny speck of dirt's gonna get into your food. It's gonna ruin the entire thing. I'm one of those people that if like, if I drop something onto the floor, I absolutely follow the five second rule. So I gotta say, not too worried about it. Especially because we're cooking literally all of this. This will be deep fried in very hot oil. So mm, I'd say any sort of horrible, dangerous toxins will probably be killed by these vats of boiling oil that we'll dip these potatoes into. Can't say I'm too worried about it. I'm sure at some point I'll take a piss on stream. I'll lie to you guys and tell you that I washed my hands, but in reality I'll probably get uh, some dick cheese on my food as well. And you know what? That's fine. Extra protein. There's no cheese in this recipe, but a little bit couldn't hurt. <laughs> Deep fried bacteria? Hell yeah, dude. It helps you build resistance versus uh, COVID, right? I think that's how that works. I think that's how that works. Okay, let me uh, flip these veggies, or at least mix these veggies a bit. Oh uh, yeah. What a How are you looking and smelling liar, good, though? Dude. What a fucking Weasley little mm -hmm. liar, dude. What am I lying about? My dick cheese? No, I'm not lying about that. That's still being chill, and that still needs good 10 minutes, probably. 
That's all right. We got plenty of time. It's, <laughs> it's so much less stressful than last week already. As a Scandinavian overlord, you can never get over the Americans wear shoes inside. Jesus Christ, man. This again. Hello, welcome to stream discussion 10 minutes ago. Ah, uh, TLDR, I don't ever wear shoes inside. The only reason I'm doing it now is because I'm standing for four hours straight doing a cooking stream. My feet start to get really tired and start to hurt after doing that if I don't wear shoes. So I'm wearing running shoes because it's comfortable for my feet. But no, I don't normally do it. Americans normally, just in general, don't wear shoes inside. So no, you're not special living in Scandinavia. Okay, there we go. Did we cover it? Did we do it? Okay, good. <sighs> Streaming rain shoes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Everybody just freaks the fuck out. <laughs> Then you explain it, and ten minutes later, everybody freaks the fuck out, he's wearing shoes! <laughs> oh. Got this last little potato chunk here that I guess we'll just sort of chop up with a knife. Sure. Well, there we go. Big ol' pile of shredded potato. Cool. Now, the recipe calls for you to use something that isn't a paper towel for, uh, for drying these off, but yeah, I'm just gonna use paper towels. Eh, it's fine. The recipe says to use a tea towel. I don't know what the fuck a tea towel is, but I don't think I own a tea towel, so we're not gonna use that. We're just gonna use a paper towel like a good old-fashioned American. Hell yeah, brothers. When a viewer dinner? Whoa. Motherfucker, you don't get to eat any of this shit. If you want to have uh, dinner, you can make it yourself. This is for a streamer to enjoy. If anything, like, assuming this goes well, and it's never a guarantee, of course, on the stream, but assuming it goes well, I'm going to go and say this will probably be my breakfast for the next, like, four or five days. Because this recipe is supposed to make two burritos, but based on the amount of ingredients that I made last time, and I didn't even make the full recipe. Um, it was enough to like, ch like stuff like two giant burritos and I still have a little bit left over. So assuming we make the full recipe today, I am fairly certain this is gonna more make like four, and like gonna make like four like large size burritos. So I'm not super worried about the, uh, the portion size saying only two. I've got, I think like four giant tortillas because I bought a pack of six giant tortillas. I used two last week for the uh, for the original ones that we made. So we got four left, and I think that'll be probably about the amount we use. How many subs for me to take the, the bus to the party instead? The bus? The fuck? <laughs> Motherfucker, there's, my, my friends live out like in the boonies. They're out in like the sticks. They're out in the middle of fucking nowhere in the middle of like a cornfield, so. I'm pretty certain there's no bus service to the cornfield. In fact, even, I, I'm, if I got an Uber out there, I'm, I'm, they'd probably drive me out there, but <clears throat> that would not be a cheap Uber, so. No, we're definitely driving out there, sorry, but. If anything, how the fuck would I get back afterwards if I took the bus? That'd also be a good question. <laughs> this is America, they, we have exactly one bus and it has a flat tire. Now my city actually, believe it or not, has a pretty decent bus service. Um, my city's bus service is actually shockingly good, I think largely because it's a college town, so a lot of college kids rely on the bus to, to get to college, you know, there and back, to get to campus. And, uh... So, when you're a student, it was actually really great. Like, you, as long as you showed your student ID when you got on the bus, the, you got to ride for free. And being the cheap ass that I am, I still have my student ID from back in the day. And, and the bus drivers don't give a fuck, right? You just, like, flash something that looks vaguely like a student ID, you're like, oh, okay, sure, so... To this day, I can still ride the buses in my town for free if I want to, and and they go like pretty much everywhere in the main direct town. Like they don't go out of the into the boonies, out of the sticks, like just described. But they at least go like anywhere significant in the town that I live in. So yeah, our, our bus service is actually legit. Now nowadays, I don't really ever use it. Of course, I just drive myself places, but it's there if I need it to be, and it technically be free if I wanted it to be. Just say scumaz. Yeah, I mean like. Whatever, it, it, it's, it's something that I know I could do, and I've done maybe like a couple of times since I got out of college. In reality, I don't ever do it anymore. It's just kind of fun to know that I could if I wanted to. That being said, it is kind of nice to just be a, a car enjoyer and just drive yourself whenever you want to instead of waiting for the bus. 
Okay. So, gotta wait for these to dry out a bit. And, uh... Then we can get to deep frying them. <laughs> Last week, they got plenty dry by the time we were ready to deep fry, and that by the time we were ready to deep fry... Oh, shit, you know what I didn't do? I totally didn't, like, rinse them off and get rid of the, uh, all the starch and shit. Fuck, I gotta do that first, huh? All right, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Never mind, kind of forgot about that part. So far, I haven't looked at the recipe at all, by the way. I'm kind of just going purely based off of memory what I did last week. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. So, recipe says that basically you have to, like, wash out the potatoes and get rid of all the starch and shit, so that way the water's not cloudy. Last time, uh... We only had limited amounts of water, so I had to be really stingy with how, uh, how much water I added to the bowl. But this time, we got a sink that has an unlimited supply of water. Huh. Isn't that convenient? The glories of modern plumbing, imagine that. Oh uh, yeah, get that nice and soaked, if you will. Mm -hmm. Although it just occurred to me, I, I, I put so much time into washing these potatoes off and now I'm just getting them like super wet again. <laughs> oh well. Let's use my strainer for this. My, okay, yeah, oh, oh man. This strainer admittedly has seen better days. It's, uh, it's holding on by, for dear life at this point as far as its, its lifespan, its crustiness level is kind of off the charts at this point, but you know what? It still works, whatever. Is it crusty? Yes, but just like my cast iron pod and just like the uh, the plastic bowls that I own, you could say my strainer is uh, well seasoned. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that water was looking clear enough. Uh, let's just get all the water we can out of here. Oy, 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 oy. Okay. There we go. <laughs> and now we can dry it all over again. Cool. Let's uh, check on the vegetables here, shall we? Yeah, definitely time to add the garlic, I would say. Garlic crusher to the rescue! Shoutouts to Lido for this one. Wow. Chonky ass pieces of garlic, they don't actually fit in there. Uh, hold on, wait a minute. Test of forearm strength here. Hey, Great. The only problem with the garlic crusher is it always leaves us like this excess garlic jizz here at the very end that's a little difficult to actually get out and a little difficult to to clean off, but overall, admittedly, the process is still faster than trying to do this manually with a knife. So I'd say overall, a quality of life improvements. Okay. Gotta love garlic jizz, right? Mm. All right, come on, chat. Come with me. Did the last burrito got so bad I have to get a second go? Well, it didn't get bad, it's just that my cooking source, my heat source last time I tried to cook this uh, ultimately ran out and that I was using charcoal, so. <coughs> oh my. <coughs> All right, it's getting a little. <coughs> Jalapeno fumes. I let this cook a little bit too long, that's okay. We might have a little bit of fire roasted taste in there. Add a little bit more oil to this though. Um, no, so like last time, like it's not like the the cooking ingredients ended up being bad. It's just that the uh, the heat source ran out, so I couldn't cook them. 
so I just had a bunch of uncooked ingredients. Now when I came home with said uncooked ingredients and I did cook them, it was quite tasty, so. But it was only like half the ingredients that I used, so this time around we're using the, the full Monty, if you will. This time around we can actually finish what we were attempting to finish last time. And if anything, it'll taste even better this time. Let's hope. Shit's already burning. Nah, we're looking good. I don't mind having a little bit of uh, a little, a tiny bit of char on the onions and jalapenos. Unironically, adds like flavor. We're chilling. We're chilling. Smells good. I can tell you that. Mm. Love some toasty onions? Exactly, dude. Yes. All right. Let's uh, let that go for another couple of minutes or so, and then, uh, and then we'll. Uh, take that off, but let's finish drying off the potatoes. How much do I pay in rent? You're curious? Uh, for my shitty ass one bedroom apartment, it's, uh, shit, what is it nowadays? It's, I know it started off when I first moved in, it was six seventy five a month, so I think it's gone up to now, I think it's seven fifty a month now, something like that. So, 2024 for a single bedroom apartment in the middle of fucking nowhere. Pretty reasonable, pretty reasonable. So cheap. Well, there are benefits to living in the middle of fucking of nowhere. Like as long as you're not looking for the amenities of the big city or like the the, the coast or whatever, then yeah, there's a reason why you moved to Indiana to stream uh, WoW Classic full time. That's for sure. On your server, you pay seven ninety for two bedroom apartments. Yeah. Well. What is it like to live in the middle of like, I don't know, Afghanistan? I'm sure it's beautiful. Yeah, that's not including that stupid mandatory insurance that the new leasing company made me pay, but we're, let's not get into that bullshit, shall we? All right. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever get this like perfectly dry, but as long as we get this, kind of dry, it should be fine, right? Especially since this time around, we'll be cooking with oil. That's actually the proper temperature to deep fry something. Unlike last time where it's like, well, there's a few bubbles in there, so clearly it must be going okay, right? Uh. All right, put that one off the side. And let's remove the garlic and Onions and jalapenos and shit, because I'm pretty sure that it should be uh, just about done at this point. Mmm, look at that bowl. Delicious. All right. Yeah. Well seasoned plastic bowl, of course. Oh yeah, that's looking good, baby. What's up with the turning fish? Bro. Chad, please indoctrinate Wex into the school of Joel, please. Thank you, thank you in advance. And Joel, of course. Gotta, gotta include his, uh, his fish girlfriend. Imagine not knowing, knowing, knowing who Joel is at this point. Bro, killing me, dude. Mm, got this nice little char at the bottom of the, uh, of the pan, too. We can use that for something a little bit later. I don't know what we'll be putting in the pan next, but it'll definitely be able to soak up all that juicy, good brownness on the bottom. Yes, yes. Mm. Alright, smell this, chat. Smell this, alright? Get your, uh, get your whiffer in there. Oh, yes. Smells like garlic and onions and jalapenos. And that is a great smell. Mmm. Little sniffer, yes sir. All right, isn't it bad to put hot food in a plastic bowl? Eh, streamer, oh my god, you didn't wash your potatoes. Oh my god, you put hot food in a plastic bowl, you're gonna die, you're gonna have cancer. <laughs> I'm doing it just to spite you, fuck you. All right, let's, uh, let's get more drink. That screwdriver's been disturbingly empty for a while now. 
plastic builds character? Exactly, it builds resistance to cancer. That's how it works. As long as you, as long as you have it in small doses, it actually builds up your immunity to cancer later in life. That's uh, that's proven been proven by many scientists. I'm pretty sure. I myself, being said scientist, that's proved it. Purely by the fact that I've got not gotten cancer yet. So I mean, I don't know. It's proof enough for me. All right, uh, this time around, let's use a smaller glass, I guess. Uh, actually, nah, I'll just use the same ratio as last time. It's fine, I kind of remember this, right? One and a half of this and then a third of vodka. Sure. <clears throat> okay. And then I went up to there. Okay. And then the totally American vodka we're gonna add here. Does anybody wanna comment on my, on my shoes? Anyone wanna say how weird it is for me to be wearing shoes right now? Any uh, any shoe commenters in the chat wanna piss me off? Uh, where's the vodka? In the freezer, okay. Oh my God, he's wearing shoes, that's so weird. As a European who is superior to you. <laughs> okay. Fool me once, cancer, shame on you. Fool me twice, cancer. Fooled, can't get fooled again. <laughs> Thank you, George W., for your valuable insight. All right. Nothing but the classiest of mixers in this apartment still, of course, of course. All right. Um, so next up, I guess what we need to do is get the oil going. I mean, I, ideally these potatoes would be drying for <coughs> for a while longer still, I guess, but I'm kind of impatient and want the shit to just like, well, I mean, I guess I could do the bacon and sausage first. Hmm. What is it, knob time? Also, cheers, boys. I definitely just took the first step without you, but cheers. Hmm. I don't actually have any knob on me right now. Uh, we, we used the last of my knob Last cooking stream. I'm actually uh, <coughs> a little low on whiskeys overall at the moment. Still got a tiny bit left with my Lagavulin 11. This was for my birthday stream last year. I've been kind of saving the last little bit for a special occasion. I don't know when. Um, I'm just like, I've only got like a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of my Ben Riach 10, Smoky 10 left. This one was very tasty. I had this one for the first time recently. So one dram of that one left. And I got my, my all time favorite whiskey, the Port Charlotte 10 on deck here. Well, I, this is not Port Charlotte 10, this is actually Port Charlotte, like a special edition, but still very tasty. But uh, no knob actually at the moment. And then of course I still have one of these South Dally Giga Chad beers left. Shout out to Dr. Hoppenstein, of course. That one I'm also saving for a special occasion. Don't know when yet. <coughs> All right. All right, that's starting to feel actually relatively dried off. All right, all right. I think what we'll do here though is get rid of the, we're gonna replace the bottom paper towel since the bottom one's pretty thoroughly soaked at this point. New paper towel roll, ho! Oh yeah. uh, let's see, how do I do this effectively? Hmm, hmm, hmm it up in a paper towel and squeeze the piss out of it. I think it's already probably past that point where I would need to do that, but I probably should have done that like first things first to start off. That would have been a smart idea, but at this point it's not that wet anymore. Um, maybe I'll, hmm. Hmm. Here, I got an idea. Okay, hold on. Hey. <sighs> Sorry, incoming ear rape. Okay, we're gonna put the paper towel in the bowl. Okay. And dump the potatoes into here. Okay. That's one that I've always find, found fascinating. Apparently like garbage disposals in sinks is not really a thing in Europe, at least what, according to what we found out in the past. That one I do feel bad for you. Maybe that's what gives us the privilege to wear shoes indoors. The fact that we have garbage disposals to uh, to get rid of any sort of like weird rogue shit that falls into the sink. Or like intentionally, I guess. Whereas Europeans like 
one single shred of potato falls down the sink. Like, no, oh, I'm fucked. I gotta call a plumber. Ah. Okay. I feel like I, I'm getting paranoid because every time I transfer these to a different paper towel, I lose like a tiny bit of potato. But I got like an extra, extra large potato, so I, I probably shouldn't be too worried about the overall amount of hash browns that we'll have. Can you throw potato skins in there? Well, it turns out there is a limit. <laughs> turns out eventually you'll hit your limit, even with the garbage disposal, but I think a few rogue shreds of potato are not gonna hurt anybody. Or so we assume. All right. Now we'll put this back on the plate, like so. Hiya! And just like that, we got a fresh new, not wet paper towel, on the bottom. Neat. So in the meantime, let's uh, let's get the oil prepared so that way we can deep fry this shit and get it nice and crispy. Unlike last time, since last time was just a vivid, vivid failure. This time around, we're not gonna get cute. We're gonna make sure that oil is ripping hot. If it means burning down our apartment, so be it. At least our, our hash browns will be crispy. All right. Oh. Hey, what's up, NV Prospect? Welcome, welcome, dude. Garbage disposal are a great idea, but it takes a heavy load on your water sanitizing, which is expensive and hard on upkeep. Well, then it's a good thing that's not my job. Ah, cool, I'm gonna let some other person worry about it. Awesome. Not my problem. That's where we're gonna qualify, that's what we're gonna categorize that under. All right, uh, let's see, what do I wanna, hmm, do we wanna use like a full on pot for the deep frying or do we just wanna use like a, a pan? Hmm. Like a pot, I guess, would be me or less messy. Maybe that's the, the play. But like a pan would be less oil. Hmm. Hmm. And be better for chat to see. Nah, you know what? We'll use the we'll use the deep sided pan. I think that'll work fine. We'll have to do the potatoes in batches, but that's no biggie. Whee! Sounds like the sub noise. Oh shit. What's up, uh, Zandrux coming to have the Prime 7 now for 13 months? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets Doritos and Hash Brown Fund. Appreciate it, bud. Thanks for hanging out. Glad you're enjoying, as always. Alright, so we're not gonna get uh, stingy on the oil there. That's probably enough as is. Maybe a tiny bit more. Now, like I said, we'll have to do this in batches because, um, as we found out last week, overcrowding the pan is not a good recipe for success. But this time around, I'm not like last week. I was super worried, like, oh my god, I got to finish all this shit before the charcoal runs out. And well, we didn't. But this time around, I don't think the electricity is going to run out unless I just run out of money midstream and can't pay my bill anymore. Always a possibility. All right. Um, are these coil stoves also NA exclusive? Never seen them anywhere else. Uh, I don't know about that one. I mean, I would assume just in Europe, the vast majority of, of households just have gas stoves. I mean, like I, I'd say in, in the U.S., it's it's area dependent. Some places have gas uh, gas stoves, like gas hooks and hookups in general. Some places don't. Like my apartment's weird. It's got a a gas hookup for the heating, so I have gas heating, but I don't have gas stoves, which I really wish I did because gas stoves are so much better to cook with than than coil stoves, but is what it is. Generally speaking, the nicer the place is, the uh, the more likely it is to have gas stoves versus coil stoves, but <sighs> I string classic WoW, so I gotta, I gotta live with coil stoves. It is what it is, which is fine. I'll survive. Coil electric stoves are usually the cheapest option. Yeah, I, I'm sure it's a money thing. I mean, the funny thing is, like, yeah, I'm sure it's more efficient, like, to, to use a, a gas stove. So, like, you probably save money by having a gas stove versus an electric stove. But I would assume, like, when you're building an apartment, and you know, especially if you're probably trying to build it as cheap as possible, yeah, it's, it's probably easier just to have, like, an electric stove versus, like, making more gas hookups. I don't know. But it's weird to me because I have gas heating, so I don't know why, I don't know how much harder it would be just at that point to have gas stoves as well. But I don't know. I mean, I guess electric stoves are also technically probably a little safer in that, like, you know, there's not an open flame that's going to catch stuff as on fire as easily, but 
I don't know how big of a factor that actually is. All right, anyways, let's, uh, where'd my little wet paper towel go? What's that? Oh, here it is. Um, let's prep the next little step here while we wait for the stove to heat up, shall we? Uh, next step, let's see here. I will link the, uh, the recipe in chat again, just in case you guys want to follow along still. But I think next thing we start working on, like what we're gonna be doing after the hash browns is going to be the sausage and the bacon. So we can at least get those out and prep them. Thankfully, this recipe only calls for half a pound of sausage and four slices of bacon. So I'm just using the same stuff that I bought last week already. We have the other half of the sausage that we didn't use last week that we can now use for this week's instead. How convenient. Gas stoves called Calls, cause bad air quality inside? Bro, do you know how like it works when you burn natural gas? You, you do realize that the only emission is water vapor, right? Somebody didn't take high school chemistry. Not a good look. It's not propane you're burning. That'd be a problem, obviously, but... Bro. All right, and uh, we're using the thick sliced bacon, and it's not turkey bacon, okay, so no need to freak the fuck out on me. All right, all right. Envy Prospect says there better be some vodka in there. My brother in Christ, do you think I'm just drinking plain orange juice? Huh, huh. Ugh, disgusting. Okay. Four slices of thick bacon. God damn, those are huge. Holy shit. Oh, did I really just have... No, I got... I got have one spare slice of bacon left over. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but whatever. Hmm, so I used four, is there really only nine slices of bacon in this package? What an absolute scam. I used four last week and I'm using four this week and I only have one left, so, hmm. Nine slices of bacon in one package, huh? All right, Walmart, I see you scamming the shit out of me. I know it's based on weight and it's not based on like slice amount, but still, hmm. I didn't realize I'd be cutting it that close. Use the fifth now. Well. I'm not going to simply because I know that like last week I had a serious issue just trying to squeeze all the bacon into one pan and uh, I barely fit in the fourth so there's no way that I'd be able to fit in the fifth so I'd have to do a second batch and that'd be annoying and dumb so I'm not gonna do that. That's okay. Four is more than enough. This is still like these are giant slices of bacon. I don't know if you can see like how well you can kind of judge how big these are but like this is compared to my face like uh. Ah, oh. okay, yeah. <laughs> Let me uh, wipe my face off real quick. Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh. Uh. Sorry, I couldn't uh, help myself but slap my meat a little bit there. It's quality control, all right? I gotta make sure that it's proper texture and proper, uh, proper thickness, obviously. All right, um, how's the oil looking, I wonder? I know you can't really see all that well from over here, but let me... Uh, uh, yeah, a little test shred of onion or of uh, on, oh shit potato in there and see how it, see what happens. Nothing. Okay, still a work in progress. Then that's fine. We have patience. Now I know when we ultimately add in the sausage, we're gonna have to mix in something else eventually too, right? What was it? I think, well, I, I guess we just cooked the sausage first It was is what it was. Okay, so we'll eventually just have to make sure that we can squeeze our meat poop out of here effectively. Joel got a girlfriend? Yes, sir. It's Joelle. There she is. Hey, buddy. Chad, please indoctrinate Mr. Envy Prospect into the school of not just Joel, but also Joelle, please. Thank you, thank you. Oy. Courtesy of Lido, of course. Shout out to Lido for bringing Joelle into the real world. There she is. Uh, okay, so we'll eventually add this into the skillet, cook this, and then take this out. In the same skillet, we'll add in the bacon, cook that, okay, and then... Oh, that's right, and then we add the eggs and all the rest of that shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, that vaguely rings a bell. This sausage is, like, super greasy, dude. This is really difficult to deal with and not have your hands get giga-greasy. 
Come on. Trying not to cut my fingers off. Maybe I just cut it like this way. Well, it's not salami, it's sausage. Pork sausage, hell yeah, brother. Medium spiciness. There we go. Good old hunk of meat poop right there. Cool. All right, it's definitely snot rocket time. The jalapenos have been enough to kind of like get my nose at least a little bit runny. Are you raping coming? I apologize in advance. Oh my. Oh, yeah. All right. Classic for a cooking stream right there. All right, um, how are we looking here for the oil? That little test potato that I put in there is at least starting to get it a little sizzly, so it's getting there, it's getting there. Okay, okay. Gross. Motherfucker, if you've watched literally any of my cooking streams before, you know that snot rockets are not only not gross, they're straight up a tradition on my cooking streams at this point, so getting grossed out by one is very silly, very naive at this point. Come on now. Okay, so. And now we just gotta wait, because now we just gotta wait for the oil to heat up so that way we can uh, deep fry these bad boys here. It's gonna clog in the garbage disposal and the plumber will see it. So yeah, the snot rocket is what's gonna clog it up, not the potato shreds, clearly. All right, yeah, this is, these are like feeling pretty dry. They're not like bone dry or anything, but Dry enough to the point where I'm pretty sure we'll have a perfectly decent experience deep frying these. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're Gucci, we're Gucci, nice. Admittedly, they're not like perfectly dry. I'm sure if I use some more fancy techniques to dry these out or literally, literally just left them out like in the, or like had them like in the fridge overnight, I'm sure it'd be even better, but yeah, I'd say these are like barely damp at this point, so meh, good enough. The good part about getting sick is firing off an entire barrage of snot rockets once you're getting better. <laughs> it's always so satisfying, right? Like once, once the snot's getting to the point where it's no longer just like pure liquid and it's starting to like kind of clump up a bit and starting to be a little more, I guess, viscous, if you will. And then you just get like these super chunky, super chunky. One more uh, two, gotcha. And like they're no longer clear, right? They're like, now they're like green, brown tinted. So now you got this nice little like little pile of goo that you just like, and you just see it right there in the sink and be like, oh. <laughs> If you know, you know. And everybody's been sick at some point, so I'm pretty sure everyone knows, right? Textured snot. Yeah, exactly. You got the nice little... I don't know. I mean, you know the first ghost that you see in Ghostbusters, right? If you haven't seen Ghostbusters, by the way, like, what the fuck are you doing with your life, right? The first ghost from Ghostbusters, like, the, the green, disgusting, slimy dude. Like, that, that's what's coming out of your nose at the end of the cold. And that's, that's when it feels great, when you're just rocketing out the first ghost of uh, Ghostbusters. Hmm. Also, what's up, uh, Westbrook Live coming in out of the Bezos books now for 35 months. Oh, shit. One more till badge icon. Yeah, when I first read your note, I definitely thought it said bulge icon. So I was like, oh my, one more month till uh, bulge cam. But, I mean, if you want badge, that works too. I can do that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets Doritos and bulge cam fun. Mm. If you're into that sort of thing. I don't know. It's 2024 after all. All right, how's the oil looking? Let's see. That OG potato shred is definitely looking nice and browned up. So I think too. we're uh, probably good to go at this point. Let's uh, let's see. Let's see. Also, I should get my tongs so that way I can just kind of use my tongs to lift out the potatoes. The same tongs that I probably didn't wash after last week. Ooh. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe before we use these tongs, maybe we should wash them. Oh, that's a lot of charcoal dust and other mystery things on these. So yeah, let me wash these real quick. Last week, you know, you're freaking out about the hygiene situation. Last week I was just openly using the same tongs for handling the charcoal, like the already lit charcoal, and then picking up the hash browns and just handling food with these. So if you're freaking out about today's hygiene, definitely don't watch last week's vlog, that's for sure. All right. But now they're washed and we are Gucci. Okay. So let's uh, throw a little test chunk in there and see what happens. Okay. 
Oh, shit. That looks pretty good to me. All right, all right, all right. I think it's time to send it, boys. Season the tongs. Yeah, exactly. To go along with the cast iron and the plastic bowls. All right. Uh, let's just throw a nice little chunk in here, a nice little, nice little ball, and just see what happens, shall we? Oh, this is making me paranoid. Okay, and let's splash. Oh, okay, 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 hold on, wait a minute. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. Jesus Christ. Hold on, wait a minute, boys. That's gonna burn off, right? It's fine. It's burning off. All right. Please just burn off into nothing, please. Okay. Uh, well, that oil might have been a little bit too hot. I'm just gonna go and say that uh, we made that oil too hot. All right, cool. Yeah, 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 Jesus Christ. Oh boy. That is fucking loud. <laughs> Always something, isn't it? Okay. That go out, it's out. Okay, we're fine. Okay. Uh, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not smoky in here, too. I wonder why that went off. Okay, 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 okay. I got a bunch of hot oil now on my uh, my apartment floor. Very cool. <laughs> you know, I, I had so many problems last week getting that uh, oil hot enough. I think I might have overcompensated this week. I'm sorry about the alarm, by the way. That'll hopefully turn off pretty soon, the fire alarm, that is, or smoke detector, whatever. Okay. Uh, all right, okay. Anyways, the good news is all the oils. I'm going to turn off that heating element right now. Uh, let's clean up our apartment floor because that's covered in grease now. Very cool. <laughs> God damn it, man. Well, I'm glad that ultimately put itself out. That would have been pretty spooky if that didn't just go out on its own. But thankfully, the, the pot itself or the pan itself didn't, uh, uh, didn't ignite. It was just the stuff that like overflowed, so... It could have been worse. Okay, okay. Well, all right. <laughs> and that, kids, I guess is why an electric stove is probably slightly safer than a... Uh, uh, than a gas one, huh? Because I'm pretty sure with a gas stove, you're in trouble there. That's not fun. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to clean off this. All right. Okay. Well, that was terrifying. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty, there was about five seconds there of like, hmm, have I really fucked up? Thankfully, I didn't wanna like, I, I wasn't sure what to do. Like, you, you always read the stories about how like, or not stories, but you always read the lessons about how if you have a an oil fire, you don't put it out with water. So I knew not to do that, but I was like, well, it's, generally speaking, it's like, you're, that, that's, it's under the assumption that the pot, like the, the oil inside the pot itself is on fire. So you can just like snuff it out by just covering it. But I wasn't sure what to do. Like, what do I do if it's like on the actual electric heating elements part? Like that part I can't snuff out, right? Or at least it's a lot harder. <sighs> Fire blanket or pot lid. Yeah, I guess I would have just thrown like a metal lid on there or something. But thankfully, there was only a limited amount of oil that was sitting there on top of the heating coil. So once it just burned off, it was fine. Alrighty. Well, uh, we're gonna not, uh, you know what? We might just uh, transfer this oil over to the, uh, the deeper pot. <laughs> I, uh, I think I've had enough of fire safety class for the day. I think I'd rather just, I think I'd rather just put that in a deeper pot where if it overflows or if it starts to, if the oil level rises a bit, we're not gonna burn our place down. I like that plan better. Man, that must have been one hell of a clip, at least. <laughs> no, I wasn't exactly going for the clip farm, but uh, hey, you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, God, I'm getting all this shit off my stove, too. My stove, stove definitely has, like, a little puddle of oil sitting on there as well. Now, I ain't no pussy. We're still going to be deep frying the hash browns, obviously. But, yeah, let's, let's do it a little bit more conservatively this second time around, shall we? Oh, the irony after last week, dude being so paranoid about not having enough heat that we just cranked it up way too much this week. Uh, all right, okay. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Glad it went out fast, yeah, me too, me too. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, I gotta get all this oil off the floor just because otherwise the floor will be super slippery, which is not great. Oh, it's still definitely got a little 
sheen of oil on here, so walking on this might be a little spooky. Oh, I guess I can take out my earplugs now. I put them in when the fire or the smoke alarm went off. All right, are we good? <laughs> uh, right, hold on. Uh, one more bit of soap on the floor, and I think we're Gucci. Hoi. That was crazy. Yeah, that was uh, that was not fun. Did not enjoy that. That was not uh, not part of the plan, boys. Not part of the plan. I feel like I've, I've gotten admittedly a little cocky when it comes to deep frying. Like I've done it successfully enough now to this point where it's just like, oh yeah, I can do this. I've done this before on cooking streams, and uh, yeah, maybe got a little too cocky. I will admit. That's the first time I've ever had any sort of real fire hazard when it comes to deep frying. So. Thankfully, at least, if you're gonna learn your lesson, I feel like it, you can learn your lesson in a hell of a lot of a wor hell of a lot of worse ways than that. Okay, all right. Oh, one more set of paper towels. Dry this off, and then we'll continue cooking. Okay, okay. Is the floors clean? True, dude. Oh, I was already tired enough from just setting all this shit up and doing a cooking stream, and now this. Floor cleaning, oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Okay, all right, okay, all right. <laughs> Fuck, man. That's like, I'm, uh, at least that's a good clip, but that's still like not a good look, dude. That's not a good look at all. Now people, you know, are just gonna give me shit for that for the rest of my life. Probably deserved, but. Uh, okay. Well, I'll probably have to do like a thorough actual mopping job later after stream's over, but for now, I'd say we got this good enough. Shit, it's probably cleaner than my floor's been in quite a long time at this point. Or at least a small little section of it. Okay, all right. Yeah, all right. Oh, show my parents the clip. You're not gonna do that. Well, you can at least see the hash browns were getting nice and browned in there, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna say these ones are probably a little bit too soaked in not hot oil anymore to realistically, <sighs> realistically use, but that's okay. We still have a decent amount left. Um, oh yeah, this heating element is also like soaked in oil as well. Safe to say we'll not be able to use this heating element for the rest of the uh, cooking stream. I think we'll just have to use the other one, but that's fine. Another large one that is. How hot is this? Still pretty hot. All right. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, that was sure something. All right. Funnier last week I said this is probably the worst fail on cooking streams ever. Yeah. I sure know how to one-up myself, don't I? Like I said, it could have been a lot worse at least, but... <laughs> That was, uh, that was a little scary. That was a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely five seconds of like, uh oh, did I really, really fuck up there? Alright. Yeah, so let me just remove this heating element from the stove real quick. We'll have to, uh, I should wash this later. But yeah, safe to say, using this heating element for today is no longer an option. Tray here, still soaked in oil as well. We're still got a bunch of oil in there. That's fun. Uh oh, oh. Uh, got some in there as well. We have to clean out. Uh, hmm. Probably dump this out. I don't really want to dump this out in my sink. That's why you wear shoes inside. Yeah, exactly. That was five. I just I was planning for disaster already. That was, that was, that was scripted, of course. God, dude, everything on my stove is so greasy now. Fuck. <sighs> Ugh, inside of this. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. All right, yeah, we'll clean that out later. I still want to cook. I'm, I'm still, I'm still committed, baby. 
We're gonna use the other side of the stove now, safe to say, but we gotta get all this oil nice and uh, soaked up first. Oh man, there's a lot down there. Fuck me, man. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, I'm glad I bought a couple of new uh, rolls of paper towels last night, thinking like, well, I do still have one roll that I'm still using, but it's getting a little low, so maybe I should just buy a couple more just in case. Yep, that was a good call. Missed something amazing? Well, amazing depends on your definition of the word amazing, I guess, but... Okay. I can tell you that these, these potatoes were cooking quite well. They were deep frying all right. They were definitely getting crispy. <laughs> for better or for worse. It was working there briefly for a few seconds. Uh, every time I turn on my stove now for the next like three weeks, it's gonna get like super smoky in here, I'm sure, but... Oh well, better than burning down the apartments, I guess. I think, uh, I think I got the majority of this out now at this point, I think. Well, so much for this being a short stream, huh? <laughs> uh, here I was thinking like, oh, this will be a quick, easy, simple, no, uh, no issues stream. And then we get a nice little intermission in between. All right, cool. Yeah, this element's over here, even though obviously this is not the one that was the proper one. Still got pretty thoroughly drenched in oil as well. So using this one for the rest of the stream is kind of probably a no-go as well. You got the other two, so it's okay, but... Oh, that'll be a fun one to clean off later. All right. I think for now we can continue, boys. I think it solves the majority of the issues. <laughs> ah. All right, all right, all right. I think we're good. Like I said, the uh, heat elements later will need to be thoroughly cleaned off, but that can be done after stream is over. All right, well, that was exciting. I have to use degreasing soap to clean off the uh, oil properly. Yeah, I'll just, well, I don't have degreasing soap, but I'll use dish soap. Dish soap, that'll work well enough, I assume. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and transfer that oil into a deeper pot, shall we? I think, uh, I think, probably. Learned our lesson on that one. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. There we go. All right. Um, hmm. actually, you know what I should do? I should drain out these already, uh, already cooked hash browns in there since those are going to be way too soggy at this point. Um, really should have done that before I transfer this oil, but whatever, let's retransfer it. You know, honestly, <laughs> if I put these on a, uh, I mean, these sound crispy, I'll say that. Like, I, I can hear some nice little crispiness on it. If I, if I put these on a, on a plate, on a bed of paper towels, I might actually be able to save these. These might actually be usable still. Because, I mean, I don't know, let's... Let me taste one. I mean, it's soaked in oil, of course, but... I mean, they're crispy. Okay. I mean, shit. All right, you know what? Let me, let me put these on a, a dry uh, plate real quick. Oh, yeah, I can save them. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, they'll still work. I'm not wasting any of this shit. I'm gonna end up using an entire roll of paper towels for one cooking stream, but so be it. I can afford that at least. Okay. So those will be drying for the next two hours. All right, okay, all right, okay, all right. Okay, all right. Put this oil back in the deep pot. All right, okay, all right, okay. That's enough of that pan for the stream, all right. Come on. All 
Oh. Fuck that. All right. All right. Okay. Here we go. This pot, I'm gonna turn the heat back on. Okay. All right. Completely safe, completely fine, completely fire hazard free. All right. Nice kitchen, thank you. Uh, yeah. All right, let the heat get a little lower this time. I think historically what the, so the, the problem I fell into here, I think was normally the amount of heat that I use for, uh, oh shit, even this side got like super oily. Fuck me, dude. Um, I think the problem that, I, or the, the thing that normally happens is like I use this pot and I use a little bit more oil, so the amount of heat required to get it to deep frying temperature is higher. Like I gotta like put the setting higher on the stove because the, uh, the quantity of oil means that I need more of it or more heat that is. But this time around I was using a lesser quantity also with a, jeez, I gotta turn the fan on. Sorry, you're gonna get ear, ear rape for a while. I'm sorry, Chet. Um, yeah, so the smaller quantity of oil obviously heated up faster and required less heat and got way too hot. Now, I, I know that, like, okay, you're going to say, like, well, then you should have had a thermometer to test the temperature of the oil. Yeah, I should have, but I was just going to do it by World of Fieldcraft, and obviously that came back to bite me in the ass this time around. All right. <laughs> nice mod block back. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let's add a little bit more oil to this. And we obviously, since we obviously spilled a little bit. There we go. Uh, yeah. So, yes, yeah, so I apologize for the ear rape for a little while, but we can turn this fan off once the, uh, once the smoke that we still had on here dissipates a bit. oil all over my stove, man. Yikes. My stove looks very shiny. That means it's clean, right? I think that's how that works. Uh, okay. All right, well, we're good for now. Good for now. The bottom of my shoes is super greasy as well. Man, <laughs> this sucks. There's grease everywhere, dude. Ugh, oh, this is not gonna be a fun cleanup project. Okay, okay, okay. Handled it pretty well, not really. I just kind of stood there watching it, praying to God it put itself out. Thankfully it did, but ugh, if it didn't, I'd have been in trouble, not gonna lie. All right. Well, yeah, these crafts, these hash browns that I did filter out of the, the problem pot are actually looking usable. We'll actually end up using those in the burrito. I'm pretty sure. That's good. Okay. All right. 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 Okay. I'm. Gonna, I need to. I need. To, okay. Uh, all right. Let's settle down, Chad. Let me drink some alcohol. We can celebrate the fact that uh, we're still doing a cooking stream at all. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. I think I can turn this off now. I think we're Gucci. Okay. Well, wasn't that exciting. Now we have to wait for the oil to heat up. That's what we were kind of waiting, killing time for before, but now we got to kill time for it again. Sorry, Chet. If we were trying to go max efficiency mode, I guess I would have... Uh, I would have had the oil heat up while I cleaned up the, the spilled oil, but that didn't seem like a very good idea. I didn't want to test, tempt fate, so <laughs> I didn't do that. Why am I deep frying hash browns? Because that's what the recipe calls for, and I'm not smart enough to make up my own recipe. All right, let me uh, close my windows as well. Safe to say I don't need to air out my apartment anymore, I think. I think we're huge at this point. <sighs> Man. <laughs> Man. Okay. Man. <laughs> you know, I like having like fun fail clips, but that one's not very fun. That one's just like, ugh. That just shows how stupid I am. 
Okay, man. <laughs> man. All right. All right. Let's throw a little tester shred in there and be able to see once that's good to go, I guess. Not yet, but all right. Show lives up to his name. Yeah, you're not wrong. You know, the funny thing is, like I said, I've never fucked up deep frying before. It's the first time I've ever really had a major disaster with deep frying, but... <sighs> well, lesson learned, like I said. Lesson learned. I think I'll just deep fry with deep, like, deep-sided pots for the rest of my life. I don't think we need to do the, the short-walled stuff anymore. I think we're good on that front. Also, yeah, my, uh, my portable charger has been slowly but surely dying. That's, that's even greasy. My portable charger has been slowly but surely dying over the past couple of streams. I think it's officially dead, boys. I think, uh... Portable charger's finally met its match at this point. I don't think it's actually charging anymore. In fact, it's just completely turned off. Yeah, that's not a great sign. I'll have it charge a bit off the side right now, see if that helps at all. Thankfully, those aren't exactly expensive to buy, but uh, mildly annoying since these streams obviously are something that I can't have my phone plugged in 24 seven. All right. Okay, so I can see the little, uh, little tester thing that we put in there is starting to sizzle a little bit, so, okay. I got the heat, by, by the way, lower, okay, I had it up to like a 7 on my oven here, or on my stove a little while ago, but now it's, I'm trying to light, uh, but now it's down to like 6.5. Seven, uh, 7 historically has been the, the temperature that we put it at, that's why I just, I just put it there by default, thinking like, I, I always do it on 7. We're going to do a little, a little lower this time. It's boiling over because the water contents of the potatoes are too high. I mean, I'm sure that was part of it as well, sure. But also, just I think the, the oil is just too hot. Thank I'll, you for uh, I'll, a I'll add a smaller batch of potatoes this time. Speed run goes terribly wrong. It's almost the same concept. I, uh, hold on. Let me go back to my computer and I'll read the text that just went on. What? Uh, Cameron Numbers coming in hot with the $5 donor. Thank you for giving us a new clip we can use when a knack speed run goes terribly wrong. It's almost the same concept. <laughs> Yeah, that was about as, that was like the IRL equivalent of salved off floor there for a little while. Alright. I think we can add, let me just add like a tiny little smidge, see how we're looking here. Okay, yeah, we're looking fine. Okay, okay. Oh. Now I'm gonna be like extra fucking paranoid, dude. All right, one more little thing. Okay, let's call that good enough for now. Okay, all right, see? That looks much more controlled, much safer, much less terrifying. All right, cool, all right. See, safe deep frying, it is possible. Okay. Oh, man, that was stressful. I know you might think like, oh, he played it pretty cool, you handled it well, but no, I was, I was definitely freaking the fuck out there for a little, uh, Brief period of time, no doubt about that. Never had an open flame in my apartment before, that's for sure. Uh, all right, we're chilling. I think we're chilling. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Kind of crazy how fast the oil rose in the clip. Yeah, I mean, obviously A was too hot and B. You're probably right about the water content of the potatoes. Like, they're still a little bit too wet, and so a lot of it flashed to steam and caused that super fast rise. Yeah. I should have reacted faster and probably... Okay, this, <laughs> unironically, though, this does need to be hotter. These are not deep frying very well right now. These are just getting soaked in oil like they were last week. Um, yeah, the, uh, the water content, you're right. I didn't even think about that, but that probably contributed to the problem for sure. <laughs> well, I'm glad we can at least keep cooking. I'm glad at least we still have a functioning stove. Oh, the irony from last week, right? Me talking this week about how, like, well, at least I have a functioning stove this week. Well, I almost tried my best to not have one this time around. All right, yeah. Now I'm getting a little bit too gun shy, though. These are this oil is not nearly hot enough to actually deep fry. These are not getting crispy at all right now. Fun 
other thing is like the the amount that I added the first time around, it was like an okay amount, but not a ton, but man, it really, uh, yeah, these are actually very usable. These are the result of the disaster, but thankfully they're actually still very crispy and perfectly usable. Um, I thought I was gonna have a lot of hash browns, but honestly, once they deep fried down, there's not much left. So I'm, I'm glad I saved this first batch, otherwise I feel like it'd be short on hash browns. Sorry, off to the side here while we're just waiting for those to get crispier. Definitely still wiping up oil here in various parts of my kitchen. That just kind of went everywhere. Ay, 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 ay. Huh. I, I do have vivid memories of every time I have deep fried on stream. Even when it goes properly and even when everything stays contained within the pan. Cleaning stuff up just after using a large quantity of oil is just such a pain in the ass, dude. Oil doesn't clean well, right? It just sticks to everything. It's so impossible to get it unstuck to any surface, really. Worked in a kitchen you were young and had to fill the fryer with frying oil, but had forgotten to close the drain plug that you can talk about oil all over the floor. Ooh, yeah, that's not fun. Yeah, I mean, thankfully it's not like the entire pot spilled or anything, like... So it could have been worse even. I mean, that if the pot had caught, like if the oil in the pot had caught fire, then we were in serious trouble. But thankfully this at least was at least a minimal disaster, sort of. Come on, baby, fry more, please. All this for stupid hash browns and a breakfast burrito that most people wouldn't even bother putting in a breakfast burrito, but is why cowboy can't. Is what he wants me to do, brother, so we're gonna do it. Ah. Uh. That's why you never deep fry, just too much of a hassle and smell. Well, the sm there's no smell. I, I, the smell, if anything, smells good, if anything. I'm not put off by that part. The, par the part that is obviously kind of scary is the potential for bur burning oil. And yes, it is a pain in the ass to clean up. There's, there is no denying that. And these boil down, to, like, or these deep fry down to nothing, dude. Like, once they get to be a more top-down view, once they start to cook off a bit, like, man, it's actually shocking how little of there is left. Also, yeah, this is... I got too gun-shy and now these are not... These are gonna get too soggy. This is gonna be kind of like similar to last week's batch of hash browns where they were just way too, uh... Way too soggy. I tried to up the heat after the fact, but I think the fact that we put these in when it was not hot enough is probably gonna ruin this batch. Why am I using tongs for hash brown deep frying? Did you read the title of this stream? Do you know what stream you're watching right now? Bro. Bro, why are you not doing all this shit perfectly correctly? And why are you not doing the professional chef techniques of every single cooking technique? Hello? Aren't you, aren't you, you, you're, right, you're, you're cooking in a really clueless way right now. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, okay, okay. Any title readers in the chat? All right, well, slowly but surely, these are starting to brown up now. Okay, now they're getting there, now they're getting there. Slower than they should, but I think we'll still be able to save this batch, maybe, possibly. Potentially. Uh, the stove looks like it belongs in a museum. Hey man, when you pay $750 a month for an apartment, you get what you pay for, you know? I'm not gonna try to ask for any. It's the world's most fanciest, classiest stoves in this cheap ass single bedroom apartment. It's all Gucci. I'm just happy that we have something that heats food and has the potential to light stuff on fire because it gets so hot. Because that wasn't a problem last week, I can tell you that. <laughs> At least we got to a temperature where we could light oil on fire. I'm not sure that was the case uh, the previous week. So that's good. Okay, yeah, these are not ideal, but I think they'll work well enough. I do have a little drainer thing though, so let's do that. Dream title should read, How to Stay Single. You know the Nick, at the very least, despite the fact that you're being a giant toxic asshole right now, at the very least, I can comfortably say you're wrong because I've impressed girls within the past year or so with my ability to, uh, to be able to cook. Largely thanks to skills I've learned doing these streams. So you know what, go fuck yourself, dude. 
You're probably just sitting there warming up your fifth frozen meal of the day saying, oh yeah, this is gourmet shit right, dude. Look, shit right now. Let's watch this dude not know what the fuck he's doing while cooking. If you want to give me shit for not knowing how to cook and being single because of that like as of like a year ago, totally valid, dude, but... The fact that you're trying to make fun of somebody for trying to like get better at cooking and saying that's why he's single is like, I feel like the exact opposite of a reason to make fun of someone for trying to cook. Alright. Actually ordered Domino's. Yeah, there you go. I'm sure your pizza was made expertly by a pizza making expert at Domino's. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, these actually got pretty crispy. Alright, that's Gucci. I left them in too long because I got paranoid. All right, let's, uh, let's see. How's this batch going to do? Okay. <laughs> all right, you can rise up a little this time. It's not a big deal. All right, all right. Oh, we're fine. All right. poke the tender spot. It's not that, it's more just like how ridiculously stupid that comment was. I'm very happy being single. At the moment, I have no interest in being in a relationship. It's just funny to see someone from chat judging as if they were attempting to do this shit on their stream. I think we'll just finish off this batch in there. I think the last batch was a little conservative as far as how much I put in there. Understandably so, hopefully. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't cook down to much. I almost feel like I should have bought a second potato. Like, the recipe only calls for one potato's worth of, of uh, deep frying, but it's honestly not much. Doing its thing now. Cool. Oh. So when I so like, here's what we've gotten so far. Like this is the the pile that we have. <laughs> this is one little chunk that I didn't shred. It's kind of like turned into a fry now. Hmm. Tasty. Have I ever deep fried bacon? <laughs> I'm not nearly brave enough to try something like that, nor do I see the point considering how greasy bacon already is. Speaking of which, that's coming up next, by the way. We're going to be doing the bacon and sausage. Thankfully, this is like the only even moderately scary hard part. The rest of this recipe is easy. The rest of this is just, uh, actually relatively safe and comfy and quick to pull off. All we really have to do after this is um, we have to cook the sausage, we gotta cook the bacon, and then once we do that, we'll add in eggs and we'll add in like all the, the greens that we just cooked with like the salsa, blah, blah, blah stuff. And then we'll mix that shit all together and put it in a burrito and say if we're done, so. Oh, well, after that, we'll do beans as well. I, I forgot about that part. Yeah, there's gonna be a beans aspect, aspect of this recipe as well. That part we didn't add in last week because we ran out of heat, but this week we actually can, can actually do that. How exciting. What time's it, by the way? Need to make sure that I'm not gonna run out of time. Two hours into the stream? All right, I'm supposed to be, I was, I was thinking like three hours max today. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we can hit that mark, but three and a half maybe is still reasonable. We'll see. Channel my inner Scotsman and deep fry a Mars bar? Not sure how I feel about that suggestion. That's a little questionable. <sighs> Woody? Hello? Alright. I just gotta be patient. That last batch ultimately cooked fine. It just took a while. Um, I think in the meantime we can start prepping... Well, no, we already prepped the bacon and sausage. <laughs> we did that the first time around. Uh, let me get the beans out. How about that? Ultimately, stuff we'll be adding that we had for last week's stream that we didn't 
use because we ran out of heat. Got our refried beans. All right, okay, cool, we're gonna add those. Authentic. Straight from uh, some factory in Southern California, I assume. Diced green chilies, now. I'm pretty sure these are just jalapenos, right? And it just says green chili peppers as the ingredients. Mystery green chili peppers. And then like, I think we're gonna mix this in with like the, the, sauce, the salsa stuff that we already made. The, the recipe says to add in just like generic tomatillo sauce into the like the onions and the jalapenos that we that we already cooked up and like I'm confused because like tom tomatillo sauce isn't really just like a thing they sell. There's tomatillo salsas and there's tomatillo like enchilada sauce, but there's no just like tomatillo sauce that I can see. So I got something that seemed approximately close to that. So we'll just kind of put this, squirt this into the bowl, mix it up a little bit, and toss that shit onto the burrito. You know, that's the plan. Can't get refried beans where you live. Are refried beans beans not a thing in Europe? Is that? Exclusively, like, I mean, it's, refried beans are definitely, like, it's a Mexican thing, for sure. Like, it's a product of Mexico, if you will, but it's kind of surprising that refried beans haven't caught on, like, at all in Europe? Really? Interesting. And they're nothing special. It's literally just, like, I don't know exactly the technique of cooking refried beans. I get the feeling that you fry them and refry them. That would certainly seem, that would suggest, like, that's what the name would suggest, right? But I don't actually know, but... If you don't know what refried beans are, you'll find out soon enough, but basically it's just like onion, or sorry, yeah, bean, like, paste almost. Yeah. Can get them in the Mexican department in Germany? There you go. I mean, yeah, it's the same thing here, right? You get in, like, the kind of Hispanic aisle here in, in the U.S. It's pretty much exclusively used for Mexican food, not really any other type of, uh, any other type of dish that we make. Not that I can think of, at least. Man, this seems so safe and easy and <laughs> reasonable in this pot. Why, why did I not just start with this pot? Why did I think it was a good idea to use that short walled little thing? Honestly, 90% of the reason was like, oh, it'll be better for stream presentation if I use a shorter walled pan for, uh, for deep frying. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. You can get them in the UK, can you? What you're saying is the UK is more cultured than the rest of Europe? Or, or actually, probably what it means is in the UK you don't actually have real food of your own, so you gotta rely on other countries more, uh, more to actually have tasty food. I could see that. I could see that. Germans are over here like they're they're cooking their schnitzel, or their sausage. Ah, but the, the UK is like, well, what do we have today? We could, we could have more meat and potatoes, or I guess we could try out some other country's food that actually tastes good. <laughs> Kidding, sort of. Refried beans on toast? I can't say I've ever tried it on toast before, but I feel like it'd probably work fine. TBH. I mean, refried beans are, I don't know, it, you can spread it literally as if it was like, I don't know, what would be a good equivalent to like refried beans, what you could spread it on. <laughs> Not peanut butter, but like I said, it, it's like a bean paste. You can just kind of spread it over anything that you put beans on and be fine. Isn't the most popular dish in England chicken tikka masala? Uh, we've looked at this before. I think that was like one of them, right? I, I think I asked ChatGPT, like, name the 10 most popular dishes in the UK, and I, I want to say, like, chicken tikka masala came in at, like, fourth or fifth or something like that. I mean, shit, I don't blame them. Chicken tikka masala is delicious. In fact, I've been thinking of doing an Indian cooking stream sometime soon, and I feel like that'd be an obvious one to have be a part of with the Indian cooking stream is... If anybody thinks of an Indian dish, like, I'm pretty sure that's the first one that most people think of, right? Okay, these are looking pretty brown and crispy. I think we are Gucci on this front. Cool. Okay, 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 okay. Well, despite some disasters along the way, I'm gonna go ahead and say that we at least at the very end ended up with hash browns that you would qualify as crispy. <laughs> Was it worth the uh, the journey to get here? Mm, debatable. Could I have done this in the air fryer without any deep frying? Probably. But... Hey, you know what? At least Cowboy Kent's would be proud. Cowboy Kent would approve of our deep frying technique, including almost lighting our apartment on fire. All right, all right, all right. You know, I'm assuming my landlord probably doesn't watch my streams, because if they did, they probably would have kicked me out a long time ago. Can't say I'd blame them either. Alright. 
you were here, yeah. That was one of the all-time fails on the stream, there's no denying that. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I'm just glad that ultimately there were no real negative repercussions. It made for one hell of a clip, and I guess that's probably gonna be the lasting legacy, which I can live with. Better than the lasting legacy of me being that guy that burned his apartment down live on stream. Certainly tried our best though, didn't we? Oh my. Okay, good enough. So yeah, there we go, that's what we got for the hash browns. I mean, like, alright, I'm looking pretty good. I don't know if you can hear the sound, let's see. Got that crisp in there, okay, okay. All right, <laughs> that concludes the greasy portion of today's stream. Okay, let's uh, turn the heat down a bit and we can cook the rest of the shit on this one instead. Put the oil over there to cool down. Okay. Looks great, yeah, yeah it looks good. Meal savage equals big W. Yeah, thank God. Could you imagine it would have been two streams in a row where it's just like, well, we tried to cook breakfast burritos, but we failed. <laughs> that would have sucked. All right, so uh, let's do the next part, shall we? The next part is we just cook the sausage. All right. We had sausage from earlier. Let me uh, move the pan a tiny bit. Okay, let's let this heat up just a little bit before we uh, toss in the sausage. Now, I was kind of originally planning on having two like large heating elements on my stove to cook stuff simultaneously. It's safe to say that now we're gonna only cook with one of the elements, so this overall process might be taking a little longer now than we'd prefer, but so be it. Oh. <sighs> How come I didn't cook the sausage while the hash browns were deep frying? Well, okay, really, man? All right. What's up, uh, Prowler KP coming to top of the prime stuff? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets and Doritos Fund. Appreciate it, bud. Tossing my sausage. Yes, sir. Live on stream. All right. That's hot enough. Yon she goes. All right, Mr. Sausage. Now, the recipe says to only cook this about three quarters of the way through because the rest of the cooking will be done like once we combine it with all the rest of the ingredients. So we just want to basically get the outside browned. We don't mess, in fact, I should have waited. Uh, and now I'm thinking about it, like we should have just, we wanted to brown the outside of the sausage, but it should have been, the pan should have been hotter if we were going to do that, but oh well, whatever. Um, we want to brown the outside, basically keep the inside still somewhat uncooked so that way the rest of the cooking can finish once uh, once we add in like the eggs and all the, the other good shit. Good news is we still have all, all that color from the onions and jalapenos on the bottom of the pan, so that should help to add some fake color to the outside of the sausage. Oh yeah, there we go, that's looking pretty good already. All right. Okay. Nice and spread out, come on baby, come on. I'm used to cooking with this element, so it's a little more awkward when I have to cook this one that's like further away from from arm length than I'm used to. Hold on, let me turn around and read that. What's up, uh, Dazen coming in off the Prime Subnet for 29 months. Still here, still not winning the Gamba. Yeah, it's been a bit unpredictable lately as far as the Gambas have concerned, been concerned. Huh? Had some speedruns that went well and some speedruns that uh, didn't go well, but regardless, thank you, sir. Your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets, Doritos, and uh, Fire Safety Fund. All right. Oh, oh boy. Hmm. Smells nice. Hmm. Looks nice too. Yes, sir. Right. It's actually almost done, honestly. Sweet. 
Okay, let's get ready to toss that onto a plate. That'll be used, like I said, a little bit later here. No seasoning? Uh, no, I guess not. I don't know, the recipe doesn't call for it. Yeah, it might not have been the worst idea to like add some salt, pepper, and shit in there, but... Oh well, too late. Seems like it's not that hard to make refried beans, mixed cooked black beans with onions and seasoning. Yeah, I, I've never tried before, honestly. If something calls for refried beans, like, you could go through the entire process or you can get it from the can like everyone else does and call that good enough. All right, I think we're Gucci here. In fact, honestly, I might, might have cooked it already a little too much. That kind of looks almost fully cooked and not three-fourths cooked like it should have been, but oh well. All right, and now we add on the bacon that's just been sitting out here now for a good hour or so. I'm sure it's still perfectly fine and perfectly safe. All right. Hey. Hey. Long-ass bacon, dude. All right, whatever. We'll just kind of YOLO this into here and spread it out once it's in there. See, this is why I didn't want to add that fifth piece of bacon. It's already gonna be a pain in the ass enough to like, get the, the four pieces in here. Come on. Uh, I should have cut this bacon in half and that way I could have uh, spread this out easier, but that's in fact, that's exactly what I did last week. I should have done that again. Oh well. Once it cooks down a bit, then we'll be being chilling. Okay. Uh, elevator music is perfect, just enough time for you to fall asleep, wake up tomorrow for when I'm done making breakfast. Ah, uh, there it is! The funny breakfast burrito and it's not breakfast time anymore joke. That is a knee slapper, dude. Very hilarious. I also want to comment on the fact that I'm wearing shoes. Alright, just enough time for, I'd say, one more screwdriver. One more can be my limit for sure. I can't even, I'm probably not going to be able to drink more than that, but... One more should get the job. <laughs> Why are you wearing a hat? Good question, dude. Good question. Hmm. I mean, would you guys have preferred I started the stream at 7 a.m. instead? Could have done it. Ugh. We'll start all the, the subsequent cooking streams at the meal appropriate time. How about that? So that way chat can properly enjoy their content at the correct time of day. Because it's obviously impossible to enjoy breakfast burrito content if it's not breakfast time. The logic checks out. Oh yo 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 yo! All right. Where's my professional mixer? Uh, there it is. Drunk yet? Nah, I'm like not even buzzed, honestly. Like I said, I, I can't drink a lot this stream because I am driving to my friend's place after the stream is over, so. We can't get excessively uh, toasty this stream, but that's okay. I'll save that for later tonight. Cheers, Jet. Mm. Uh. Please do a stream for each region in their time zone. Make the same dish multiple times so you can all enjoy. <laughs> hmm. I'll have to make it at each region's breakfast time. All right, all right. Seems reasonable to me. So by the way, this recipe calls for me to ultimately save the bacon grease so that way we can crisp up the burrito in the bacon grease as in like we can toast the, the, the tortilla itself with all the stuff inside with the bacon grease. So that's the plan. 
Uh, as if my stove wasn't greasy enough already, all this bacon grease just splattering everywhere is going to make sure it gets even worse. Oy. By the way, we're not done flipping this bacon. Eventually we'll flip it again because it's not nearly cooked enough on one side, but... I always get impatient with bacon and try to cook it like somewhat back and forth, back and forth, so that way each side gets an appropriate amount of like, I don't know, cooking at certain intervals? Is that a thing? Probably not, whatever. Hey. Why am I making breakfast burritos in the afternoon? You know what, that's a good question. Uh, that'll be all for the stream, guys. It's no longer breakfast time, so uh, I guess the stream's over. All right. Flipping is good for rendering? Uh, yeah, sure, let's go with that. All right, in the meantime, while this fat uh, renders, I guess, I'm gonna take a piss, I think it's time. I'll give you uh, ASMR though, here you go. You can have uh, bacon cooking audio. Be right back, chat. Did the streamer wash his hands? I guess you'll never know. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Come on. There we go. All right. All right. Come on, Bacon. Are you doing your thing? Looks like it's doing its thing. Let me uh, at least read the next part of the recipe, see what we're supposed to be doing here next, because I think uh, next part's like we deal with the beans, I want to say. Let me see here. I have a clean dick? Obviously, dude. My dick is fucking pristine. You can eat meals off of that shit. Alright, uh, so after the bacon... In a mixing bowl, add eggs, beat until smooth, season with uh, salt and pepper, add in green chilies and sausage and mix well, pour blah 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 blah. So while that's doing its thing, pour the, or the small saucepan over medium heat, add the beans, Stir well to mix. Wait, why didn't add beans to mix? Add garlic powder, cumin, paprika, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I think we do actually need to start heating up a second, a second thing here. And uh, <laughs> thankfully we still have a second heating element to use. Okay. Just use this pan, that'll work. Although space here is a little awkward. Uh, can, I, uh, can I just use this one over here? It's covered in grease, kind of, but it's, it'll get smoky here for a little while, but I think it's okay. I, I'll have actual space over here, so I'm gonna use that one. All right, um, how's this oil looking? Eh, it's still warm. Where do I put the thing of hot oil for now? Hmm. I'll put it... Oh, 
over here, and it's gonna be fine. All right. Oh. <laughs> if this bursts into flames randomly, please don't freak out. I promise it's planned. It's totally, uh, totally a part of the recipe. You witnessed someone flush and then heard no sink noise at a public bathroom. You were tempted to hit him with the stair, go back and wash your hands. Yeah, public bathroom especially, it's like, bro. If all you plan on doing is just staying in your apartment for the rest of your day, your house, whatever, then like, yeah, you do you, kind of gross, but fine. But yeah, if you're in public and you're touching public shit, like, bro, wash your fucking hands. Oh yeah, okay, these are almost there. One more flip and we're Gucci. Or one's the inside. Yeah, I think they're actually cooking somewhat evenly. That's fine. Yeah, they're Gucci. Okay, uh, this is heating up now. I'm, okay, I'm gonna have to turn the loud ass fan back on a little for a little while here, boys, since it's like all the oil that got onto this element is now starting to to smoke up a bit. So that'll last a couple of minutes, probably. All right, uh, we can at least open the can. Oh, actually, you know, okay. Here's what we can do. I know what we can do. Ultimately, we need to make this into green salsa. So we already got like the nice and softened onions, nice and softened jalapenos and garlic in there. We're literally just gonna squirt some of this green salsa into this bowl and just mix it up with a fork and get into a somewhat kind of pasty sort of thing. It's not gonna be like what the recipe calls for, which is like to use a food processor or a blender, but A, my blender's kind of fucked, and B, I think it's kind of actually better to keep it more textured. I think the idea of having it be super watery is actually probably a bad thing for the texture of the burrito. Because, like, the bacon will add a bit of crunch to the burrito, sure, but I want to actually make sure that it's got some more texture outside of just, like, the kind of squishy... slop of like the sausage and egg mixture because when I made these breakfast burritos like halfway last week I, I guess about the crispiness of the hash browns as well when I made this last week it was definitely just a little slop like it was kind of a slop like interior with just like bacon and that was it it wasn't bad but the texture definitely could have been better I will admit that there we go that's looking pretty good though I'm gonna have to disagree with Cowboy Kent on his recipe. I think keeping the jalapenos and onions more distinct is actually the play here. All right. Eh, maybe a little bit more of this shit. Just a tad. What's the salsa made of? It is, ingredients-wise, uh, fire-roasted tomatillos, water, jalapenos, salt, roasted poblano peppers, contains 2% less of modified stewed... Food starch, garlic, canola oil, cilantro, tapioca, maltodextrin, lime juice, concentrate, xanthan gum, natural flavors. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Your rape is over. There you go. Alright, let's give this a little taste, see how it's going. Hmm, right. pretty tasty, pretty tasty. The tomatillo sauce or salsa actually adds a nice little extra element to it that uh, that this didn't have last week. <clears throat> Ooh, a little spicy too. Oh my, okay. Um, let's take the bacon off. So I think we are Gucci on the bacon, okay. And now the recipe whoa, wants us to save the bacon grease because we're supposed to save that for the uh, Actually, shit. Let me get uh, paper towels to put this on top of. Uh, we're supposed to save the bacon grease for, like I said, crisping up the... Uh, I need more paper towel. Uh, we're supposed to save it for crisping up the burritos once they are, like, fully formed, and that way we can get them crisped on the outside. So I'll just probably just pour those into a bowl, pour the bacon grease into a bowl. 
There we go. Okay. Bacon grease. Oh, careful, SpongeBob. Let's pour it into here. Oh, okay. Just kind of like. All right, there we go. No fire safety hazards here on the stream. No, sir. No, sir. Good looking bacon. Yes, sir. Looks pretty good. Pretty tasty. All right, cool. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're almost done. Believe it or not, we're almost done, we're almost done. All right, next up, what we need to do is uh, add the sausage mixture with all like the rest of the ingredients, like the eggs as well. So, okay, mixing bowl. Oh, where's the mixing bowl? Here's one. Add um, eggs in the canister. <laughs> Season it, salt and pepper. We'll add in green chilies and the sausage. Okay, let's do the eggs. Eggs, this recipe calls for five of them. So let's get five eggs in there. One. Counter space is becoming uh, a little limited here at this point, but thankfully we're almost done. Two, three, four, uh, five. Now, something I've always like read about or like I've, I've seen videos of whatever, every, everybody and their mother always says, or always says to never add seasoning to your eggs before you cook them, but this recipe says to do that. I'm gonna hashtag trust the process and add uh, and season it just like the recipe tells me to like while they're uncooked, but I've always been told, or at least I've always read and seen that that is wrong. So I do have to question the, the wisdom of Cowboy Kent here, but then again, he probably, hasn't lit his stove on fire, so who am I to question him, huh? <laughs> oh my. I think it's just that you add salt add. It's just, you think it's just salt that you add after? Yeah, that's what I've read too, but whatever. Like I said, hashtag trust the process. Okay. Okay. And then we're supposed to add in green chilies, which we have just out of this generic little can of diced green chilies. There you go. Uh, what exactly those are, I don't know, because literally on the ingredients it just says green chilies, so <laughs> I don't know, apparently just generic green chilies, sure. No, we're supposed to add this, like, we're supposed to keep the liquid in? I'm gonna keep the liquid in. Yeah, fuck it. Green chilies. Ta-da! And then... See there, add green chilies and... Okay, so now we're add, we add the sausage. Let me beat these eggs first, and then we'll add in the sausage after that. And make sure we can, like, break up all the yolks and shit. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Lido self-reporting there of being a TikTok enjoyer, not a good look. Great value, good as fuck. You might say it's a great value even? Mmm, what's that? Okay. Uh, I probably should have crumbled the sausage a little bit better, but uh, I guess I'll just do this by hand, or, yeah, sure. My hands are clean as fuck, right? Sure. Viral, was it Vine? Jesus, was it, is that, is that meme that old? Was that really made on Vine? Christ. I mean, Vine was basically just like TikTok before TikTok was cool, right? So it's still cringe. Whatever, dude. You don't TikTok? Yeah, like, I feel like... 
where our age, so like late 20s, early 30s right now, is like right on the border of someone who uses TikTok or not. Because that's a, it's some Zoomer shit, right? So like, if you're late 20s and early 30s, I feel like if you use TikTok, you're one of those people who's like, I'm still cool. I'm still with the times, right? But you're right on the border of like that being acceptable still. All right, there we go. Yeah, the sausage was definitely mostly cooked already. It wasn't three-fourths cooked like it should have been, but... Oh, well, I'm pretty sure it'll still be fine. So let's just mix that up, and then we will toss that right into the skillet and let it do its thing. Mmm, yummy. I've never heard of, like, mixing meat and eggs before eggs are cooked before. That feels weird, but... Hashtag trust the process. Oh, that was, like, smoking a lot. Oops. Sorry, loud-ass fan back on. Really should have served the beans earlier. Fuck. Just have to do these after these are done cooking because the eggs are going to cook pretty fast. This is actually pretty hot already as is. Yeah. Never the greatest idea to cook eggs when it's like on high heat, but oh well, whatever. We're doing that. Yeah, it's under the fan for now. Sorry, I know it's super ear rapey, but <laughs> we're, we're, we're making a recipe that has a lot, a lot of grease in it. This is kind of one of the reasons I wanted to cook this recipe outside because I knew it would be a kind of a a lot of grease involved, aka a lot of smoke from grease kind of getting super hot type of thing. So, yeah, yet another reason why I tried to attempt this outside first and yet another reason why. Oh, there have been so many safety hazards this stream. But, okay, that being said, there we go, it's looking pretty good. It's looking like some nice breakfast slop right there. Right, this should be pretty hot by now, right? Let's have the uh, refried beans. Imagine not reading exclusively black and white newspapers and published books. I know. Imagine not just reading off of stone tablets in 2024. Fucking Zoomers. Disgusting. I know I say, when I say tablet, everyone just immediately seems like, oh, an iPad, you mean? It's getting a little smoky in here again. I'm nine. I'm a little worried that the uh, smoke alarm's gonna go up again. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, it's safe to say my apartment's gonna smell like uh, uh, burning oil for the next like month or so. That's fun. Uh, all right. This is probably almost done, actually. Yeah, okay, we're almost done. Eggs are looking pretty cooked, and you don't want to overcook the eggs and turn that shit into rubber, that's for sure. In fact, I think we are Gucci. I think we take this off the pan already. All right, where's my big bowl? Uh, fuck, it is not uh, clean. All right, hold on. dangerous adventure. I think we're almost there, boys and girls. Got the egg, sausage, whatever mixture, good to go. We're almost done. We literally just need to uh, do the beans and ragucci, okay? There you go. Breakfast burrito slop. Yeah. Okay. What's it say on my can opener? Oh, it's literally just my last name. This can opener is something that they got me, my parents got for me back for college. This is this can opener is well over a decade old at this point, so I don't know why, but they felt like, oh, we gotta label all the shit with your name on it, so that way they know it's yours. <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad. I was really worried about someone stealing my can opener. Okay. 
Well, let's look at there. Uh, spoon. Mmm, bean goo. Did they write my name on my pencils too? I remember they wrote my name on like my calculator. Like literally all my stuff for like school supplies. They used to do this like when you, like for as long as I can remember when I was in school, like elementary school, middle school, whatever. <laughs> and so when we were preparing stuff for college, like college supplies or whatever, like they they did the exact same thing again, even though like I was 18 at that point. Like pretty sure I could probably live without all my stuff being labeled with my name, but no, nope, it still was all labeled. So. In case anyone in college was about to steal my uh, can opener, they saw my name on there and were like, ah, oh, you know what? Shit. I guess it does actually belong to someone else. We can't steal it now. Thanks, Mom and Dad. How considerate of them. Okay. So, just need to add some spices to this. We're literally just like heating up the beans and adding spice, and that, that's the only reason why it's in this thing. In fact, I'm making this pan super dirty just for the sake of uh, uh, adding some spices to this, which is a little silly. Uh, small saucepan and garlic powder, cumin, smoked paprika. Garlic powder, cumin, which I have in here somewhere. Hold on, and paprika. Fuck, that's chili powder. They all look the same. Fuck. Hold on, hold on, Chad, hold on. Searching through my little spice thing. There, there's no organization in this, so I'm just blindly picking each spice thing and hoping it's the correct one. Uh, chili powder, cinnamon, fuck, where's my paprika? I know I got it, I had it last week. Cayenne, paprika, ha, all right, we got it. Okay, uh, I don't know what amounts I'm supposed to put in here, so we're just gonna yellow it and just kinda add a bunch of each one. Okay, yeah. Garlic batter, check. Cumin, check. All right, cool. Mix that bad boy up. Really should have gone with my wooden spatula for this, I guess. Oh well. Always microwave, microwave refried beans? I'm just going with what the recipe says. Admittedly, Cowboy Kent, when he cooks this recipe on his YouTube video, he does this all outdoors on his outdoor stove. Hence why I was trying to do that last week, but... <sighs> hey, you know what? At least it's a lot safer and a lot uh, more easily controlled when you're indoors, right? Much less of a fire hazard when you're not working with an open flame like we were last year, or last, uh, last weekend, right? Guys, right? Team? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, all right. Last thing we're gonna do, actually I should have kept the heat on with this pan right here, but let's let's turn this back on because we need now to prepare the pan for the actual uh, burrito heating. Okay, cool. Excited for the end product? Yeah, I, I think despite all the disasters that have occurred so far this stream, I think the end product's still gonna be pretty damn tasty. All right, speaking of the end product, I think we should probably start assembling because uh, we're right about that point. I think uh, all we realistically have to do at this point is assemble and consume. Okay, so those will be doing their thing off to the side. In the meantime, um, let's move the hash browns. Let me move the bacon grease over here. We're gonna use that in a second. Otherwise, we got the salsa. Eggs, got the hash browns. Okay, got the bacon. Put over here. Ooh, yeah, bacon's nice and crispy, baby. Good shit. And then we'll assemble the burrito on top of the cutting board, I guess. What's in that? That in my laundry room? What's what in my laundry room? What? Whoa! Talking about Joel? Bro. Imagine not knowing who Joel is. Okay.
<laughs> there they are. Hey, buddy. Okay, so let's get our giant ass. Oh, okay. Yeah, the beans actually. Those are already kind of doing their thing. Finally coming together here at the very end. In fact, I don't. I mean, it's not like these, these beans only like cooked. They're already cooked, right? So I think we're already Gucci on this front. I think we just need to literally, literally just heat them up. Hence why, yes. Could this have been done in the microwave? Yes, it could have been. Was it worth making this pan super dirty just for refried beans? Probably not, but, you know. Uh, trying to do it the authentic way, I guess. All right. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, assemble the Avengers, shall we? All right, now, we got some fucking economy-sized tortillas. Usually when you buy what you would call burrito-sized tortillas at a grocery store, they're pathetic. They're, they're like maybe 10 inches across and they barely create a burrito that's like, once you fully wrap it on both sides, it creates a burrito that's like maybe at best, like this long. It's really pathetic, it's really sad, so. Thankfully, I went to a couple of different grocery stores around town, and I finally found one that had the grande size. So these are, I believe, 13 inches across, according to the uh, the packaging. And this should be the good shit that it hopefully should allow us to have actual decent-sized man burritos. Not that little pussy shit, you know? I want, I want like the massive hog in my burrito, not like this little tiny uh, two inch knob. Okay, there we go. So according to how we're supposed to pre prepare these, we're supposed to place the tortilla flat board, coat the mi middle with one third of the beans. Okay. I think we'll make three burritos out of this is the plan. Um, so we'll use this. So. There's the beans, okay. Got that little bean poop on there, cool. America sized, hell yeah, brother. It's like American burrito, in American restaurant burrito sized. I mean, it's literally what it says in the package, like, it's like it says like restaurant tortillas for restaurant burritos. As God intended, obviously. All right, so we got that. And then add one strip of the bacon and top with egg mixture. One strip seems like kind of pathetic, so we're gonna kind of add them this way, so that way we can kind of cover the entire length of the burrito. Add a bit of texture to this shit. You know, what am I trying to know next time though? I might like add like some eggs and then, because one thing what happens when you add uh, b bacon to like the outside of a burrito like this, it puts just like it puts all the crunchiness on the outside, and then the middle is not crunchy, which is always a bit underwhelming. So I might change that up for the next burrito. But I'm gonna assemble this as the recipe says for the first one. All right, um, add one strip of bacon, top with the egg mixture. Okay, so let's add some of this. Like I said, we're doing about three, so use about a third of this. A little more, a little more. Come on, oh geez. So add that, okay. And then add one strip of the bacon, top of egg mixture, add cheese. Cheese, the fuck you talking about recipe? There's no cheese in this recipe. I specifically have checked this recipe in the past to make sure like there's no cheese. It, the, the, the ingredient list does not list any cheese and yet now I'm reading the recipe like in the instructions like, now it's time to add the cheese. Huh, what? Okay, the good news is I do happen to have some cheese just sitting here in my fridge for not burrito related purposes. Oh, ear rape, sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, some great value shredded cheddar? Sure, why the fuck not? We got it. Yeah, I know, sorry, ear rape. I'm used to it because that, that uh, little drawer in my refrigerator is super scuffed, but I guess, yeah, maybe I should have warned you a little bit more. All right, anyways, uh, cheese and bacon, sprinkle hash browns on top. Okay, so let's do that next. About a third of the hash browns. 
Okay. Ooh, yeah, hash browns on a burrito is not really something I've ever bothered with or fucked with, but I kind of like the concept, so let's see how it goes. And then add a bit of the quote, quote, salsa. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm glad, I'm glad I got the giant burrito, because this is going to be like... This is going to be like Chipotle-style burrito where they can barely wrap this shit around. All right. Uh... Oh, careful, SpongeBob! Oh! Okay, come on. Oh. I don't want, like, extra splurge if I can avoid it. All right. Good luck rolling that chonker. That actually went okay. I think that's going to be relatively secure. Okay, okay. I don't know if we'll have blowouts on the side. I guess we'll find out, but... That's girth. <laughs> that's a girthy burrito, all right. Uh, yeah, it feels pretty good. Okay. Um, shall we toss it on the skillet with some bacon grease and see what happens? Sure. <laughs> okay, should probably turn down the heat on this one. This one's kind of smoking a little bit. Just a little bacon grease for the boys. This, uh, this heating element on this, this I always use this one because this, one, this one's super uneven. It's really annoying. Right. On you go. Alright. Now this is kind of our test burrito, but I'm, uh, this is not going to be the one I, I eat, I don't think. We're going to save the the one that we eat for last. I think I've already learned some lessons forming this burrito. I'm not going to add the bacon first. I'm going to, I'll do the bean base and then I'll do the, probably the egg sauces mixture, I think, and then I'll add the bacon on top. And so that way then on top of that, I can add the cheese and the salsa. Um, so that way the bacon's kind of in the middles because I, I want to try to, oh, and the hash browns on top of that too. I want to try to get the more crunch in the middle because if you have the crunch on the outside, it makes like the experience kind of dumb where like you just bite in it's like crunchy on the outside and just immediate smush in the middle i'm trying to avoid that part like it's not like it's bad at that point but it's i feel like we can heighten the experience by doing that need a nap after eating this bad boy <laughs> it's gonna be really fucking greasy i can guarantee you that but hey you know what no one ever said what we're making today is healthy it's uh, it's good for the soul as spongebob would say i don't have a soul <laughs> Squidward, how many of you, how those are you eating? Squidward, Squidward, stop! What, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna explode? No, it'll go straight to your thighs. And then you explode. Okay. That's a little flip -aroni. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, we left that on a little long, boys. Okay, whoops. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Turns out that bacon grease cooks it pretty fast, so okay, lesson learned for the next burrito. Don't have it on there for as long. All right, whoops. That's fine, it's still perfectly edible. Whatever, dude. <laughs> it's a little more than it should be. Uh, we, got, we got two burritos, two more burritos to test out. It's fine, it's fine, it's edible. More done than it should be, yes, but. Let me cope, all right? Let me cope, let me cope. All right, bottom side's already looking good. All right, take that one off. Yes. Yes. Uh, where do I put this for now? Hmm. Oh, I don't have a spare plate to put this anywhere at the moment. Hold on, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Um. Sorry, I know you can't see anything right now, but I'm just trying to desperately find a place to put the burrito off the side. As long as you put the burnt side down, it looks fine. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna take this off the heat for now, just so that way the oil doesn't get super smoky while we assemble. I feel like I should probably assemble both of the next burritos, so that way I don't have to worry about the multitasking here. Let's just assemble the final tune now. All right, so, tortilla. Grande size, of course. 
All right, so what I said I was gonna do. Okay, refried beans first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plop. Okay, feels like actually kind of a lot of beans, but I can always take some off if I need to. It's like a little off. Okay, the beans. Do refried beans taste good in themselves? Yeah, I mean, they're just like pinto beans, essentially, just mashed up into kind of like a paste. Mm. A lot of Mex Mexican restaurants in the U.S. I'm surprised you don't know about this. And a lot of Mex Mex Mexican restaurants in the U.S. would have like, if you get like a, a, an entree, you'll get like, let's say like a burrito. So you'll have a burrito and then you'll have like some Mexican style rice as one of the sides and it'll just be refried beans as the other as the other side. And like oftentimes what you do is you mix the, the Mexican rice and the refried beans together and kind of create this little bean rice mixture that's really tasty. I'd say that's pretty, pretty run, uh, that's pretty standard for like 90% of the Mexican restaurants I've ever been to in the U.S. And it's uh, quite tasty. All right, so egg mixture, okay. So it's like at like a base at like Chipotle? Nah, Chipotle doesn't use refried beans as far as I know. We're talking more like real Mexican restaurants. All right, so now we'll put the bacon. We're gonna put the bacon and the hash browns in the middle. That's the play here, I think. Okay, so add some of that. Okay, because I'm trying to, like I said, I want to get the crispiness in the middle and not in the the edge. So we get the crispy hash browns in there. Okay, okay. And the cheese, that the recipe definitely did <laughs> say that I needed. What a fucking liar, dude. Weasley little liar, dude. <laughs> I mean, chonky ass burrito. I feel like half of this is going to be one meal for me. Okay, there we go. And then la salsa. <laughs> uh, this burrito is going to be a little bit more stuffed than the other one, but that's why we got the grande size tortilla, boys and girls. Okay, nice and evenly spread. The, the thing I fucking hate that they do at Chipotle sometimes is like they'll center all the ingredients in the very center of the bowl slash burrito, so that, that way the edges don't get like everything. Very annoying. All right, there we go. Oh boy. Okay, come on, baby. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, thick, yeah, that's a chonker, boy. All right, come on, baby. Come on, work with Papa here. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, oh my. Ah, <laughs> uh, we might have to uh, de chonkify this burrito a little bit. Let's see. Oh, come on, come on, come on, baby. Oh, maybe we got this. Maybe this is gonna work still. Oh, okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. Yes, dude. <laughs> that's a chunky fucking burrito right there. But you know what? I'm not complaining. But uh, that's a thick boy. That's a thick boy. But we got it. Eh? People were trying to give me shit for my burrito rolling techniques last week, and trying to like give me burrito rolling techniques. Dude, I'm a master burrito roller. Look at this shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's toss that onto the skillet. <sighs> Actually, no, 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 not gonna be done. Let's actually form the other burrito first and then have the warm skillet ready to go. Okay, last one, last one. Grande! Well, at least for this one, I don't have to worry about trying to get cute with the portion size. Just use literally the rest of what we get. Sorry, shitty camera angle. You can't see any of what's going on, but whatever. Oh, the cleanup after the cleanup after the stream is gonna be so horrible. I'm not looking forward to that part. Grease everywhere, a bazillion pots used. Oh, I love cooking streams. Okay, there we go. It's good as fuck. Would eat. Oh, I'm guarantee. I'm well. I shouldn't guarantee it, but like I'm. I have extreme high confidence that's gonna be very tasty. Horrible for my health. Like literally everything we've used in this recipe is just like cholesterol and fat out the uh, the wazoo, but. The nice thing about cholesterol and fat is they both taste really good. Mm-hmm. 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 
Yeah, that statement, that's true. Can confirm. Okay. After this breakfast, you'll need to eat again. Yeah, I'm not going to eat all of this. Like, I'll probably just eat like a quarter of this because I don't... Guaranteed, if I ate all of one, one of these burritos in one sitting, and I could, but if I did, guaranteed, this would, this would put me into a massive food coma and there'd be a 0% chance I'd be able to go to the little social gathering that I'm going to after this uh, stream is over. So I'm going to like take like a couple of bites and call that good enough. <laughs> I'll save the rest of these for some other time. Because I'm pretty sure like if I, if I have to, I can probably freeze these as well. These will probably freeze pretty well. I'm not going to eat all three. Uh, it's tempting. I gotta say, it is tempting. Taste-wise, I'm sure I could. All right, there we go. Add the bacon. And that's where I'll give you guys a little sick cross-section once we're uh, ready to eat. Okay, hash browns. I feel like I probably underutilized the hash browns in the last couple of burritos, so this one might have an excessive amount, but that's okay. Okay, and then cheese. <laughs> this is gonna be another thick fucking burrito, dude. Holy shit. Nah, the cheese. And then we have a pretty healthy amount of salsa left as well. It's gonna be a colon cleaner burrito. You motherfuckers out there with just like weak ass immune or weak ass intestinal systems, dude. Oh, I looked at a pepper and I shit my pants. Oh my god, I passed by a Taco Bell the other day. I drove by one and I just immediately shit my pants. I gotta, I got intestines of steel, man. I can, I can guarantee you, I could eat this entire burrito and be okay. I mean, I'd feel like shit, but at least my, my poops would be under control. Okay. Hmm, I feel like this is the, yeah, I agree with the, this order we went in. Like, it was chonk, chonkier and chonkiest. Hmm, this one I have pretty low confidence that we're going to contain in the one. I can barely fit this over the side even. Oh, boy. I do technically have one more tortilla, though, that I could kind of use, like, Chipotle style, where they use a second tortilla just to wrap it all up. It's a fucking unit. Yeah, but... Come in! Oh. Oh. They're supposed to be, by the way, supposed to make two burritos. What a fucking liar, dude. Yeah, okay, that's... Hmm. 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 Man, at this point, like, I don't want to, like... Man. Did we just put this onto a separate... Fine, all right, fine. We'll just put... Let's get the... I'll we'll get the last tortilla. All right, hold on, hold on. That ain't gonna work. I can guarantee you that. It's like I had to use, like, all the rest of the ingredients, right? But... I think the second one will be the one we actually try to eat, because that one's I feel like the nice Goldilocks zone of what actually worked. Uh, where is that special? Uh, shit. All right, we're going to have to do some burrito surgery here. This is going to make it so the insides don't look nearly as pretty, but the good news is the outsides, I'm pretty sure, will still, or on the outside when I bite into it, will still taste fine. This definitely ruins the aesthetic, though, of this third one, but at the end of the day, I don't think there was a chance in the fucking world that that one was going to close up properly. I don't want that shit to burst by the seams while it's already when it's already in the, uh, on, the on the stove. Okay, there we go. <laughs> These are going to already be two really chunky burritos on their own. I'm going to try to fit it into one. All right, all right. There we go. Spread that a little bit. Still looks pretty good, not gonna lie. A shame stream up to this point's been really aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, it's been nothing, nothing but visual per perfection up to this point. Shut up, smoke alarm, don't you fucking dare. He got, got tempted there for a second. Okay, there we go. Well, that one's really easy to roll, isn't it? Sure. It's got more girth on one side than the other. Can got to squeeze that appropriately. There we go. Okay, and then... <sighs> yeah, this last burrito... Shut up! 
Don't, don't you dare. That means it's low on battery. Well, that's gonna be annoying if that's what it's doing. Oy. <laughs> probably just hadn't been smoke. I, 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 I never set off the smoke alarm in my apartment, so it probably got set off for like the first time in years, and this, and now it's like that used up its last little tiny bit of battery charge that it had. Not like this. Okay, there we go. Two more reasonable sized burritos, I guess you could say. And now, oh my god, no, fuck you. Okay, well that's really gonna suck later. I don't have a ladder to like, be able to reach that shit. That's a, it's like super high on the uh, on the ceiling. Ugh. Okay. Let's put uh, the smaller ones here so that way we can cook this one first. We're going to save the grande one for last, and that's the one we're going to bite into. Shut up. Beep. Yeah. Seriously, though, how do I... Okay, I'll, let me show you what I'm like. I'm working with here. Smoke alarm is up here. Yeah, you can see it's got a little red light beeping. I don't know if you can tell, but that's like a long fucking way down. So, like, how am I supposed to reach that? I don't have a ladder. If I want to sleep tonight, I don't want that shit beeping at me all night long. So that's going to be a problem. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus, I'll deal with that later. Oh, I mean, obviously, the, the answer is I call my landlord and they just come out and do it, but, like, the problem is, ugh, it's the weekend and I want to be able to sleep tonight. Get a chair? My brother in Christ, that's, like, 12 feet up. In, no, it's more than that. It's, like, 15 feet up in the air. Like, <laughs> a chair ain't going to do it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Anyways, not your problem for now. Oh, Jesus, I didn't learn my lesson apparently. <laughs> yeah, it's still fine, it's fine, whatever. Man, this does not need long, holy shit. Let me add a tiny bit more bacon grease for uh, these last couple. Drag a table to it? I, 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 I feel like I must not have given you guys enough perspective as to how high up that is. Like legitimately, like, okay, so I'm approximately six feet tall, right? So if, if I stand up here above me, it's probably another 10 to 12 feet above me. So I, I would need to get something that is 10 to 12 feet tall to stand on top of to be able to then reach it. So, you know, don't think that's going to happen, boys, without, like, a ladder. <laughs> All right, there we go. Burrito number three. I guess we're making four burritos. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. Another little small boy here. All right, let's not make the same mistakes. Let's take this off. Like, well, this probably only needs like a good 20 or 30 seconds or so. Throw a shoe at it. Yeah, great. No, I mean, the, the answer is you just call the landlord, right? And you just let them let them do their thing. But the problem is that, uh, seen as it's the weekend, I don't think they're going to come until Monday. So what do I do till then? I don't know. I mean, it's in my living room. I guess I can just sleep in my... My body. I, I use my quote-unquote bed, bedroom as my stream room, so my bed's not in there. But I guess I can just set up my sleeping bag in there and just sleep in there for the next couple of days so I can annoy the... That's still going to be so annoying over the next two... Uh, uh, two days. Ask my neighbor to borrow a ladder. I don't, I don't even know if my neighbors would have a ladder. Like, why would you need to own a ladder here? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Should have done that the first couple of uh, burritos. That's what you want it to look like right there. <laughs> Surprise camping stream. Yeah. Hey, this does seem like a design flaw to have the, the smoke alarm be that high up. So, like, to the point where it's like it's not accessible by by someone who doesn't own a ladder. Does strike me as a bit of an issue.
Okay. Take that one off. Oy. Pretty sure it needs to be that high up. The smoke goes high. Well, you could still have it like on a lower portion of the ceiling. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot of burrito. Holy shit. Last week, I only made two of these, but then again, I, I guess I didn't use any of the hash browns or any of the... I guess I need the chilies and any of the, the beans. So I guess that's why these are so much chunkier. But, yeah, damn, dude. All right, and now the grande one. Okay. Shut up. Oh, my God, dude. I'm already annoyed by this, man. I'm gonna get home tonight after like going to my friend's place and it's just gonna, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm ready to sleep. I'm so tired and I don't remember that's a thing. I don't know what the fuck I'll do. I guess I, I guess I'll just have to sleep in my my little stream room because I got like the, the sleeping bag plus the my little sleeping pad setup. Like, you know, the setup I've used for camping, right? But I'm worried that like even through earplugs, I might still be able to hear that beep and that'll keep me awake. So I'm a little concerned about that already, TBH. Doesn't my neighbor hear it? I mean, uh, maybe, but like, uh, once again, like, what am I supposed to do about it? I, there's not much I can do about it. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, that's nice looking. Ask my neighbor for a boost. Yeah, great. Ay, 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 ay. I'm looking forward to at least trying this. Safe to say at this point I'm pretty hungry, right? So, oh, well, at least we'll get some uh, payoff for our labor here. And my God, it's been some labor. Oh. <sighs> Cheers, boys. The rest of the screwdriver. Beep. Mm. Okay. Perfect. Oh, at long last, I think we're ready to do the thing. Thank God. All right, now like I said, 0% chance that I'm eating all of this. So we're gonna cut into this like, probably like, I don't even want like half of it. I want like a quarter of it maybe. So let's cut into like, eh, a quarter here and then see what sort of cross section we're working with, shall we? All right, ready for this? Survey says, oh, ooh, shit, look at that, boys. I feel like the lighting on this is not great. Hold on, I can fix that. There you go. Oh, shit, look at that, baby. That's looking pretty good as far as, oh, yeah, look at that, boys. All right. Hey, you know what? It might have been a scuffed process to get to this point, but are you going to tell me that cross-section doesn't look absolutely delicious? uh -huh, buddy. All right. Let's, uh, you know what? Let me set up in my stream room. Normally, I'd eat at, like, my little, my little table out here, but I'm going to go ahead and say that, like, we don't want to deal with this annoying beep while we're trying to eat this, so let me just eat this in my stream room, and we'll call that, uh, close enough. Um... Yeah, I'll just take the little quarter with me, whatever, man. The rest I'm just gonna wrap up with foil and just save for later. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll take you with me, chat. Okay. Oh my God, man, not like this. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let me grab a napkin. Okay. Hey, what's up, uh, Just Simlil? Come in and hop with the Prime Sub. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets and a Doritos fund. Thanks for hanging out. Glad you're enjoying. As always. Well, let me just make sure my stove is off. It is. Okay, cool. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. 
Well, that was an adventure, wasn't it? Actually, let me, let me close the windows real quick. Fuck, man. This fire alarm, or the smoke detector. Oh. How do I, uh... How do I deal with that shit? I don't know. Very annoying. Okay. Wait. By the way, Merry Christmas, everybody. Still haven't put my Christmas tree away, obviously. All right. Oh. Hi. Hello. Okay. What's up? Let's give you the good mic, shall we? Hi. Hello. What's up? Hi. What's up? Hello. Alrighty. Well, that was something, wasn't it? Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's always something for a cooking stream, isn't it? It's always something, man. Ugh. 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 I'm gonna go a party after this. Fuck me, man. I gotta deal with, like, cleaning all this shit up. I gotta deal with this stupid fucking smoke alarm now. Ugh. All right, let's try the burrito. Let's try the burrito. All right, all right, all right, all Oh, hold on. Now, I know this is a tiny little portion, but like I said, I won't eat all of this and go into a food coma, so just be a little teaser. Yeah. Mmm. 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 I don't know. So, when I made this last week, I didn't include the hash browns because that failed, and I didn't include the, the beans because that we never got to that point. Adding those in adds like a whole nother layer to it. Like I, I, I like how the, I made the outside crispy, so the outside has a crunch, and then the outside, like the interior, like the kind of like the outer ring in the interior is like soft and got like the beans and the sausage and the salsa, and then, and then the interior's got the crispy hash browns and the bacon, so it creates this nice little like crunch, soft crunch experience. Hmm. Didn't see me add salt once. I did salt the uh, the salsa, and I salted the the eggs. Salt wise, it's fine. We're being chilling on that front. Not bad, man. Not bad. Now, I have my own like ghetto version of bread breakfast burrito that I usually make, which usually involves eggs. Turkey, bacon, I know, judge me. Cheese, guacamole that I just buy from the store, obviously. And some hot sauce. And that takes me like 10 minutes to make. <laughs> is it worth spending, like, okay, if I did this <clears throat> off stream, this would probably take me, eh, probably two hours to make. Is it worth the two hours to make this? No. It's really good, don't get me wrong. Is it, like... 20 times as good compared to like just making the one that takes 20 times as little time to make? Probably not. But if you got a spare two hours, like, fuck it, it's pretty nice, Steve, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. The hash browns are something I've never had in a breakfast burrito for, before, and that's really good. I'd be thoroughly satisfied if somebody served this to me at a Mexican restaurant as their breakfast burrito. Absolutely. Um, got a lot of good flavor. Got a lot of different the different flavors going on. A lot of good textures in there. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Now, once again, is it worth all that extra time for a homemade one? Probably not. If I'm that desperate for like a really good breakfast burrito, like super gourmet one, I'm probably just gonna go to a restaurant and pay like 10 bucks. But I'm glad I can at least make one after, you know, almost burning my kitchen down and getting grease everywhere and making my stupid smoke alarm beep every five seconds. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Give me uh, my rating. Hmm.
Okay, so for reference, I would say my, my regular, just normie ass burrito that it takes 10 minutes to cook, I'd give like a, a seven, a solid seven out of 10. This one's like a nine out of 10. This one's very tasty. I feel like maybe you could add in one more thing. I'm not sure what, maybe some sort of avocado in here. Like maybe guacamole, if we add it in here, that might, that might take it over the top. But still, that being said, this is very tasty, super high quality, nine out of 10 for sure. Now, like I said, is it worth the two hours of cook time for the nine out of 10 versus seven out of 10? Mm, that part's debatable, but I'm gonna eat all of it, that's for sure. Hmm. Over time, not all in one sitting, obviously. This is where you take out the super complicated bits, like deep frying the potatoes, just pre-made hash browns. Yeah. You could pre-buy the hash browns. You could refried beans, you just heat up in the microwave. That'd be super fast and easy. So yeah, you just, you cook the bacon. The sauce, well, I mean, the sauce, like, I guess you pre-buy the salsa as well. At that point, they're like, it's probably not worth going as fancy for the recipe, TBH. But if I was trying to impress and I was trying to be like, oh, I'm going to serve everybody with my, my signature breakfast burritos, I would definitely make this for sure. For sure. Oh my God, that smoke alarm. <laughs> watch the clip. I don't want to watch it back if I'm being honest. I don't want to be traumatized by that again if I'm being completely honest by you. I'm going to let that one, I'm going to let that one live unseen by my eyes. You guys obviously are free to watch it all you want, but... Uh, Sorry. I'm not going to watch that back once. My experience in that once in my life was, was enough. Thanks. I'm good. All right. Oh, man. Oh, I got to clean all this shit up and get ready to go to my friend's place. All right. I sound very calm. I, I was like, I, I can guarantee you I was internally freaking out. That's for sure. At least it wasn't a gas stove. Yeah. The irony of the discussion we were having like right before that happened, huh? <laughs> Oh boy. All right, all right, all right. Um, so anyways, let's see here. Uh, well, that was tasty. All right, I'm gonna clean all this shit up now, but God, the, I don't mind cleaning it up. I can do that, but man, I don't know what I'm gonna do about the smoke alarm problem. Cause like, I can tell you like, even with my in, in here with the door closed, I can still hear it beeping. And there's a 0% chance I'd be able to fall asleep with that shit going. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. That's uh, a problem. I don't think renting a ladder is a thing as far as I know. <laughs> um, just need to reset it? Yeah, but I can't even reach it in the first place. That's the problem. I, like, I know how to reset a fire alarm. I know how to replace the battery. That's fine. Or smoke alarm. That's fine. But... Um, Yeah, getting, getting being able to reach it is a problem. You can reset it, just use a broom and hold the button. Is that a thing? Is there a button? Oh, hold on. All right, hold on. We can just, let's explore, Chad. Hold on, hold on. Now you got me curious. It goes off and needs a reset. Is that a thing? I mean, I got a broom. I could stand on a chair and then reach it from a broom, maybe, although it's pretty high up there, honestly. No, you got me curious, because that would save the day. If you're right about this, I'll be I'll forgive you for every other snarky comment you made during the stream. Alright, let's see here.
<laughs> you need a camera on the broom. Oh shit, sorry. Just realized my, my mic wasn't on this entire time. time. I'm sorry about that. Okay, yeah, I, I can't see the button on there is the problem. I don't, is there a button? I don't think there is, man. Because I'm pretty sure it's probably just a saying like, the battery is dying and therefore needs to be replaced. In which case, yeah, obviously I can, I can reach it with the broom here, but I can't do anything to it from this height, so. Hmm, just whack the shit out of it. Yeah, great, thanks. Yeah, there's no button on this. There's no, is this a button? Hold on. That's just a light. Oh, Jesus. Oh, did that do it? That was a button. It's a light, but also a button. If I held it down, does it do anything? Oh? Saved, question mark? Pog? Boys, I think it's saved. I think we're good. I think we got it. I don't think it's good. Oh, oh, no. Oh, it was just a little red beep, but it was good. It didn't go. <laughs> all right, chat. All right, all right, all right. I think, I think you actually just saved the day. I think we're Gucci. Good fucking call. I, I definitely would have just had to call. If hadn't chat not been here to suggest that, I'd just been like, fuck, I need to call the landlord and have them bring out the maintenance dude. And this would have taken two days and it would have been a fucking nightmare. But turns out that little fucking red LED was also a button. If you just hold it down, then... I guess your problem just goes away. Shit, all right. That'll work. All right, thank you, chat. For once in my life, chat actually knew what they were talking about. That is shocking, but we'll take it. Fuck. All right. Make you a VIP now? No, if anything, the best you've done is cancel out your assholery from earlier, so we'll just let the rest of the assholery slide. All right, all right, all right. Well, okay, that solves a serious crisis for the weekend, because otherwise I don't know how I would have slept. And ironically, I would have just, like, probably chose to sleep in my car or something. <laughs> that would have been bad. All right, all right, all right, all right, cool. Anyways, I guess we can end stream now. I got a lot of cleanup to do, because my kitchen's still really greasy and has a whole bunch of... Ah, oh, shit to clean up, and ugh. at least I have taste. I, I'm not going to lie, I'm still kind of hungry. I'll probably eat another quarter of that burrito uh, very comfortably and... Enjoy the shit out of it and hopefully not be in a food coma. All right, boys. Well, that was an experience. At least we really finished the burritos and cooked them and eat them. Uh, obviously, that's not something we were able to accomplish last week. Oh, shit. The Banjo Boy coming in hot with a gifted tier sub. Gifted five gifted tier one subs. There we go. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets, Doritos, and uh, Cleanup Fund. It's a good burrito. It was a good burrito. You know what? At the very least, thankfully, we at least we clutched it at the end, and at least the burrito was good. <laughs> Going through that entire traumatic experience would would have really sucked had the end product been like, hmm, oh, this, this, this kind of sucks. Oh Jesus! Alrighty. Well, anyways, um, oh, I'll be back uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's stream will thankfully be a much less chaotic one. Well, okay, it might be chaotic, but in a different way. It's gonna be a fun police snack. So actually, it's it's guaranteed to be chaotic. But it'll be chaotic in a I won't burn my apartment down sort of way, so I can live with that part. Um, uh, so that's going to start tomorrow, probably in the neighborhood of 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 19.30 Central European Time. What's up, James Baxter, coming in out with the table. And good night, streamer. THX for the stream. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed, dude. I thought this week, like, oh, this is a slam dunk. This is going to be not scuffed. It's going to be totally fine because, like, it's just in the kitchen cooking and... As always, we found a way to make it giga scuffed, didn't we? That's, I guess, a, a tradition of mine, huh? So anyways, um, yeah, next speedrun stream tomorrow with five with fun police. Monday will be Baldur's Gate 3. Banjo Boy with another gifted tier one sub. Thank you, sir. Your additional gifted sub will get also directly to the Hot Pockets, Doritos, and Fire Insurance Fund. Yeah, thank you, dude. Um, yeah, Monday we'll do Baldur's Gate 3, so do a follow-up to the first one of those. Tuesday... Uh, the plans to do a BWL MC GDKP. That'll be later in the day, so I might I might start start the Tuesday stream later than normal, just to kind of um, just kind of compensate for the 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 late start of the GDKP. So I'll let you guys know on that one. So that's kind of the plan for the next few days. Otherwise, you guys can do exclamation point Discord in the chat if you feel like joining my Discord. It's a place where I post stream news, stream announcements. Anytime I go live, I'll make sure to ping you guys. It's a place where you can ask me uh, if I've burned my apartment down yet. 
and based on the way today's stream went the answer is probably within the next hour or so it's gonna happen while i'm cleaning up somehow yep yep that was scary as fuck. I, I know you guys are saying, like, well, in the clip you seemed really calm, but, like, I, I might have seemed calm at the time. Like, maybe, like, how my voice sounded, but I wasn't internally calm. Internally, I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. So, I... <laughs> I'm glad it turned out to be a happy ending. I'm glad it turned out to be nothing more than a funny clip, and that's it. All right. Yuke's coming in out of the prime, so thank you, sir. Directly to the Hot Pockets, Doritos, and Breakfast Burrito Fund. Anywho. Ugh. <sighs> Appreciate you guys hanging out. Appreciate you guys keeping chat lively, as always. And, uh... Ugh. That was stressful, man. <laughs> I'll catch you guys tomorrow for our World of Warcraft stream. Hopefully that'll be less stressful. Bye-bye!